you love fishing. The following. The Badgers welcome in the Clarkson Golden Knights. Hi again, everybody. I'm Brian Posick. Our ringside reporter is Piper Shaw. And since Freak Fest is tomorrow, Rob Andringa has dressed up as Bill Brophy. Well, last weekend, 23,000 fans packed this building to watch the Badgers, an exciting young team, take on the two-time defending national champion Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs. And the Badgers did not disappoint. They won 6-2 to two and 3-1. to one. Goalie Daniel Lebedev was the number one star in the Big Ten. And that sweep vaulted the Badgers up 11 spots in the national rankings to sixth that's pretty impressive for one week well for the last couple of years the badgers have talked about wanting to be relevant in the national picture they opened some eyes last week and they did it in two different ways they outscored duluth 6-2 friday scored five and answered goal to beat the defending champs and then ground out a 3-1 win when they played a defensive style and beat UMD at their own game. They'll see a similar style tonight for Clarkson. Yeah, Wisconsin scored 23 goals so far. This is the best start Wisconsin's had as far as goal scoring is concerned in 27 years. The top line of freshman Cole Caulfield, Alex Turcott, and junior Linus Weisbach have 10 goals and 23 points. A lot was made about Caulfield and Turcott when Weisbach last weekend against Duluth may have been at his best. Yeah, offense gets headlines and Linus is among the leaders in scoring with a goal and eight points, but it's his defense which opened the eyes of the coach, who compared to the Marion Hoser, the way he played uh, both ends of the rink and defensively shut down to lose best players. Clarkson's been to the NCAA tournament each of the last two years, qualified last season by winning the ECAC postseason tournament. They lost two key players from that team, goalie Jake Kiley and their best centerman, Nico Stern, an All-American. But they bring back a lot of firepower, including number 18, Harold Eagle. Well, Harold's from Latvia. He's played 107 games, scored 30 goals in three years, hasn't gotten the board yet. Carson's only scored nine times all year, but his centerman, Josh Dunn, has opened the eyes of a lot of NHL scouts who are here to watch him play tonight. And Zach Seckes scored a hat trick last night when they beat Vermont 3 2 in their home opener. Here at the Cole Center, Wisconsin, and it's Road Reds tonight because Clarkson's road uniforms had to uh, be. Oh, reassembled, if you will. Some issues uh, with those uniforms. So Clarkson comes in with white unis. And here's Anthony Callan, a nearby Middleton, Wisconsin native. Longtime Madison Capital played in the junior program for a dozen years. He wears number 44. You can see the lines at the bottom of your screen here. And now Wisconsin, Sean Doogie, number 24, throws it at gold center Frank Barat. And he catches and hangs on in a quick stoppage in play. 45 seconds into the opening period. Wisconsin comes in 3-1, and one, ranked 6th in the country, winners of three straight. Clarkson, 2-1-1, one, and one, ranked 13th in the land. Beat Vermont last weekend, then lost at home to Providence. Badgers have Dylan Holloway, freshman centerman from Bragg Creek, Alberta, number 4. He wins the draw. Ty Emerson dumps it in. And the Badgers, Tarek Baker has the puck now, 16, with Doogie and Holloway on that forward line. Emerson with Keandre Miller, number 19, the 22nd overall pick in the NHL draft last year by the New York Rangers. And if you notice the Badger lines at the bottom of your screen, you didn't see Alex Turcotte's name. He's out with a respiratory problem tonight. Long range shot by Miller is wide of Marat. We'll learn more about Alex Turcotte and his prognosis from Piper Shaw here coming up in just a bit. Oh, and Lindmark's got the puck now, number 18. Good-looking freshman from Naperville, Illinois. Three goals, five points in his first four games, and he's plus six. Brock Caulfield has taken Ty pelton Bice's spot on Lindmark's line as Ty pelton Bice has taken Turcotte's spot on the top line with Caulfield and Weisbach. Caulfield puts his hip into the defender. Wisconsin's Lindmark sauces down behind the uh, net to the corner in Roman Ashan, number 13. Wheeling out high, turnaround shot at his teammate Lindmark, chopped to the puck, Underwood, the defenseman, got in the way. Lead feed behind the defense, and Harold's Eagle will get after it. Eagle, his last name is spelled E-G-L-E. -E. He's from Latvia, played for the Chicago Steel, a teammate of current Wisconsin Badger Max Zimmer at the time, also played for the Madison Capitals. Wisconsin was recruiting Harold's Eagle a few years ago. Badgers have the puck now. Captain Wyatt Kalnick, number two. Paired with Tyler Inamoto, five. Here's Kalnick now. Up to center ice, off a stick or two, and off the glass. 
and out of play. Well, Wisconsin's got two first-round draft picks. Cole Caulfield in the lineup tonight. Alex Turcott is not. Piper Shaw downstairs has more on Mr. Turcott. Piper? Thanks, Brian. There is an absence out on the ice tonight, and that's number 15, Alex Turcott. The freshman forward missed four days of practice this week, and Coach Granado says that there's been some kind of upper respiratory illness, sickness that's been traveling around the team, and it's unfortunately hit Turcott the hardest. But the good news is, is that we did see him wandering around the rink tonight, looking like he's feeling a little bit better, and Coach said that we might see him back in the lineup as soon as tomorrow. So hope he's healing up. But guys, we will definitely be missing the fifth overall draft pick tonight. Yep. Turcotte had back-to-back three-point games, had scored in each of the first four games this season. Three goals, eight points, three power play goals. He is certainly fun to watch, and especially with that combination of he and Caulfield and Weisbach, they've been dynamic, Bill. Turcotte, along with Weisbach, the leading scorers in this team, three goals, eight points in the first four games and again we saw Turcotte heading toward the exercise bike before the game so Granado hopefully that Turcotte will be back tomorrow. Yep, Caulfield with a wheeling pass to Pelton buys towards the net off a stick and wide now it banks out through center ice and Wisconsin's Keandre Miller after it there. Greg Morrow number three you saw him 6'4 210 pound senior defenseman was in on the four check Morrow missed last weekend's games against Vermont and <laughs> Pink Barat with a save rebound. There he tries to tuck it behind him with a backhand. Marat got his left skate to the post. Morris with a save rebound. There he tries to tuck it behind him with a backhand. Got his left skate to the post. On that first shift, he can handle the puck too. Gave Callen that home run pass to send Callen in the first 30 seconds of the game. And he comes up with his first save tonight. Frank Marat, 6'1, 194. He's from Quebec. Yeah, 50 wins in three years, a program record, 255 goals against, a 917 save percentage at Robert Morris. He was the ECAC goalie of the week two weeks ago. He gave up only two goals when Clarkson earned a victory, a 3 1 victory, and a 1 1 tie at Michigan. Yeah, 34 saves and opening night in the tie. So he was busy at Yost Arena. Badgers Holloway knocked to his knees. Gathered in now by Shane Kuzmeski out of Grays Lake, Illinois. Played for A.J. Degenhart, Cooley Region Chill of the National North American Hockey League several years ago. All the best to A.J. Degenhart. Mike Verlicki now, freshman defenseman from Edina. Leads his way in and takes a pretty good hit from Brian Hurley. Former member of the Chicago Steel out to Caulfield and he snapped his stick in half. He tried to hammer that one through the goaltender. Now here's Roman Ashan. Tumbles down, forces Kalnick outside the zone. Overskating Devin Brasso, number 14 for Clarkson. Brasso out of St. Lambert, Quebec. Just a couple of games early with an injury. Now Eagles to Brasso. Big kick save made by Lebedev. Rebound there, Eagles. Had his shot stopped by Lebedev as well. Daniel Lebedev, a couple of right pad stops in tight on Brauso, and then Harold Eagle. Now Kalnick slowed, and he got held up by the defenseman Underwood in a penalty coming up. Wisconsin's going to get a power play on an individual effort by Captain Wyatt Kalnick. Kalnick playing in front of Philadelphia Flyers GM Chuck Fletcher tonight. He's a Flyers draft. He makes a nice play there. He puts the Badgers on the power play. Kalnick has scored a point in each of the four games so far. Badgers get a power play when we come back. Fall in Wisconsin. A time for stopping by. And settling in. We're seeing it all. Sampling a few. Whether you want to spend fall inside, outside, a boat, there's something for everyone in Wisconsin. Life out here tastes sweeter with the freedom to roam at 40 miles per hour, the power to haul whatever needs hauling, and best in class acceleration and handling with cargo. The Kubota Sidekick is purpose built for speed, fun, and to get the job done right. Right now, get the sidekick for zero down, 3.99% financing for 60 months, plus a $1,000 instant cash rebate.
Let's take a look at our impact player to watch presented by Kubota, and it's Ty Pelton Vice. Well, he's really an impact guy tonight, filling in for Turcotte in the big line, takes his spot in this power play unit, which is among the best in the land. Yeah, the Badgers, 7 of 18, 39%, went 2 for 8 last weekend in the sweep of Minnesota Duluth. Pelton Vice will take the spot of Turcotte. He's playing the goal line left. Weisbach on the right wing, playing pitch and catch with Wyatt Kalnick. On the left wing, it's Cole Caulfield. In the middle, between the hash marks, is Keandre Miller. Kalnick, Caulfield now. Two of Cole Caulfield's goals have come on the power play. Kalnick, quarterback. Now here's Pelton Bice. Bice has two goals, four points in his last three games. Caulfield with six Gs so far. Pelton Bice, Miller open, catches, backhand pass blindly. No one there. I think Miller may have thought that Weisbach was cut it down the middle. Did not. And the Badgers forced back, and now here comes Kalnick again. You know, with Turcotte out of practice the entirety of the week, this unit has worked together with Pelton Bice on this power play. Pass by Bice, knocked free by the defenseman Morrow. Badgers still have possession in the offensive zone with a minute to go on the power play. Kalnick at the point, and he'll wing one low, miss the net. Off the end boards battling for it was Chris Clack, sophomore from Georgetown, Ontario. Pulled free by Pelton Bice, tried to set up Miller. His shot shanked. May have had his stick deflected by one of the Golden Knights. Bice protects, finds Weisbach, skips it inside. Kick save made by Verrat and then swept out of harm's way by Clarkson and all the way down. Badger's getting some pressure, though, on this man advantage. And Bice looked at home with those other four guys. By inserting him on that top line and on this power play unit, it was the least disruptive move Coach Granado could make the other line stay together. Second unit out now with Holloway, Baker, Doogie, the point men, S and Emerson, but good work on the far side wall by junior Grant Cooper of Clarkson to clear the zone. Badgers will get one more chance, perhaps. Josh S, Chicago Blackhawks seventh round pick a couple of years ago, drops back to Holloway, who will be draft eligible next year. Scoots his way into the offensive zone, and the penalty has expired to Underwood, but Holloway still possesses the puck. Down low, Emerson. Nice move by Baker to work around the defenseman Schneider. Cut off there by Kuzmeski. Baker works the puck free again. Tied up, and Holloway with support. No score here early on in Madison. Holloway tied up a bit by Underwood. Puck came free. Here's Doogie with it. Looks and shoots and rolls one too high over the crossbar. Badgers met Clarkson last year out in beautiful Potsdam, New York. It was 2-2 after two. Sean Doogie scored a couple of goals that night. And then Clarkson scored two in the final six and a half minutes against uh, Wisconsin goaltender Jack Berry and earned a 4-2 victory. Badgers lead the all-time series. Five wins, four losses, and two ties. And the last time they played Clarkson... In Madison, the old Badger Hockey Showdown in 2006, December, Badgers lost to Clarkson 6-2. Roman Deshaun, who's off to a nice start. Six goals, 15 points as a freshman last year. He's had a goal and five points in his last three. Puck comes all the way across. Here's Lindmark cutting in on his backhand. Forced by, put it in front. Deshaun had a chance and still lose. And Deshaun on one knee can't find the loose biscuit. And Matthew Gauslin. Able to shovel it out to center, but the Badgers, for the most part, have controlled this first period. We've definitely been tilted in Marat's way. Power play didn't hurt. No, for sure. And Mark after it on the four check. Jack Gorniak, fourth line out now for the Badgers, the sophomore from West Salem. And it looks like Clarkson's iced the puck, and in fact, it has. Our impact player to watch, I mentioned, was Ty Pelton Bice, his line mate last weekend. Owen Lindmark setting up another in Roman Ashan. And Ashan got his skate on it, tried to kick it home as his stick was tied up. Our impact player, by the way, brought to you by Kubota, engineering a more rewarding ownership experience. Visit your local Wisconsin Kubota dealer and test drive the difference. Visit Kubota.com for a dealer near you. And while Lindbergh doesn't know what Zabota is yet, he's been an impact guy early <laughs> in the season playing with Bice and Deshaun. That's been an effective third line for Wisconsin. Korniak looking for his first point of the season. Turnaround shot from the right wing. Badgers keep it alive. Dominic Mersch in the lineup, number 25. Younger brother of Dallas Stars prospect, Michael Mersch, here's Gorniak now, slides it slowly across, too slowly, and picked off by Brousseau, and out through center it comes. DeAndre Miller headmans to Emerson, patiently scoops it ahead for Gorniak, wanted a cut to the net, lost an edge, may have been helped down by Morrow, who gets to the puck. Edmonton, Alberta, defenseman, 
Sends it in towards Lebedev, and he elects just to put his mitt down and cover it up with 10.23 left here in the opening period. We are scoreless. Daniel Lebedev last weekend stopped 57 of 60 shots, including 31 in the 3-1 Saturday night victory over Minnesota Duluth. His numbers this season are pretty decent. But uh, his weekend last weekend was exceptional, a 940 save, 950 save percentage against UMD and the number one star of the Big Ten. He was really good down the stretch when UMD down a goal, came at the Lebedev hard. Doogie with the empty net goal turned it into a two-goal win. But Lebedev played one of his better games in his two-year Badger career and earned the honor for the Big Ten. His best weekend probably is a bad Wisconsin. Earned three series sweeps last year. Only three all season long. Their longest winning streak a year ago was four games. Right now the Badgers have won three straight. Trying to match that here tonight against 13th ranked Clarkson. Bouncing puck. Josh Dunn had it. Lost it. Dunn from O'Fallon, Missouri. Former Green Bay gambler. There's a pass. Pai Inamoto right back to him. He tried to hit Weisbach right wing. Clarkson active with its sticks. Very good defensive team. Now setting up Cole Caulfield. Didn't get anything on that. Dunn will reverse course off to the defenseman Morrow. Pulled free by Weisbach to the point in Kalnick. Far side. Inamoto had his pocket picked. And here's Harold's Eagle. Two on one. Eagle. Oh, can he get around Weisbach? Does a nice job. Finds an open man between the legs. Backhand shot. And Clarkson's Jack Jacome scores. That was a thing of beauty. Pretty play. All started with the turnover by Inamoto. And Eagles and company made him pay for it. Badgers will play from behind tonight. Jacome gets his first goal of the year. He's had 15 in his career. And that was as pretty as you'll see. Nice speed. Backhander upstairs. Jack Jacome from Caledon, Ontario. Played in the Canadian Junior League with Georgetown. All rookie team in the ECAC two years ago. First goal of the season. Lone assist to Harold's Eagle at 10-32. And Clarkson has a 1-0 lead. So the Badgers, who trailed only once all last weekend against Duluth, down here halfway through the first period on home ice. Clarkson wants to slow it down. We talked at the top. Duluth. Plays a similar style. They're more defense oriented. They're awfully big in defense. Connor McCarthy, 6'7, 238. He wears number two, but they got a lot of big guys. And their coach, Casey Jones, is a disciple of where he played with Cornell. Mike Schaefer was his coach. They play a very defense oriented style. They want to dictate their own defensive pace. Badgers like to go, go, go. But give Clarkson the early lead, and they'll be tough to come back on. Murat just swung it around, turned it over right wing. Doogie picked it off the wall and threw it back to the cage. And Murat had to scramble back to stop that one. Sometimes he gets himself in trouble. Here a beautiful play. Eagle off to Jacome, who roofed it. one nothing. Clarkson. Trish is having a sleepover tonight. Can I go? I wonder about Lucy's friends. What should I say? I know you're only 10, but one of these days a friend will offer you a drink. And alcohol at your age can lead to so many things. None of them good. So can I go to the sleepover? Lucy, I want you to promise me something. I finished my homework. <laughs> Bigger promise. If there's any drinking, I want you to say, no thanks, not my thing. Mom. I promise you, your real friends won't care. Deal? Sure. Really? I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. A public service message from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. Badgers coach Tony Granato. Just a couple of games under 500 here. Back to back 14 win seasons after posting 20 wins his rookie year when the Badgers missed making the NCAA tournament by a double overtime goal in the Big Ten tournament championship game in Detroit against Penn State. Badgers open Big Ten play next weekend at Penn State. Thursday and Friday night series. Long lead feed to center. Off the shin pad of Brock Caulfield to a Sean out of Caulfield and hammers it around to the right corner. Emerson pinching in, runs into the 
six seven 238 pound Connor McCarthy and then Clarkson sends it down and icing called against the Green Knights I don't believe we'll see any anybody in couch hockey bigger than McCarthy wow. holy cow he is a big young man from LaSalle Quebec the Chilliwack Chiefs sophomore a year ago he had four goals and 14 points he's been pretty productive for Casey Jones you mentioned Casey of Cornell captain back in 1990 had 112 points for the Big Red was an assistant coach there an assistant coach at Clarkson before also worked at Ohio State and now in his ninth year as head coach at Clarkson 147 wins 128 losses and 39 times coach of the year at the ECAC last year well, he should have been too winning the conference tournament championship getting back to the NCAA for the second straight season yeah this is a good program well they are a big name here in the Midwest uh, this is gonna be a tough fold for Bucky this weekend they come out the blue line here is Ty Pelton Dice tried to put it on the stick of Caulfield had it for a moment knock free reaching for it kick free here's Caulfield shoots one and missed it on the blocker side of Frank Marat and nice read Wisconsin intercepts McMessner Cole Caulfield top of the left circle steps in and poke checked nicely by the defenseman Greg Morrow Morrow able to get it ahead to Gausslin at center ice Alma cuts him off. Badgers Messner now has the puck. Lead feed Weisbach. He's got a trailer, but two on three. Now three on three. Weisbach attempts an escape move on the near side wall. Double team there. Falls down, and the puck comes free to Josh S. Big, good job by Big McCarthy to break up that two on three. As now, Messner, is he onside? No, they'll say he's off. The referees tonight, Brett Shaba and Ken Anderson. The linesman, Joseph Hutek and Matt Gerlach. Looks like the back of Matt. Coming back from a knee problem he had last year and skated as good as ever, and he may be the best skating linesman in the league. Oh, that's nice of you to say, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. We want to hear Bill's ranking of all linesmen in the Big Ten. We'll have that for you at the intermission. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll have our producer and director put together a graphic for us <laughs> with hometowns. <laughs> Here's McCarthy now across the line. McCarthy had his shot blocked. Or Licky sweeps it around. S will give chase now. And instead of my rankings, we'll hear from Piper Shot chatting with some of the Badger freshmen. How's that? That's good. Here's Holloway now. Stick handling to the slot. Shoots one. Save Vapor on. Rebound there. Just pitched wide by Wisconsin's Mersh. Now for Licky. Tough angled shot. Turn around now. Sean Doogie put it on net, and Marat made the stop again. He's got nine saves so far. And then Doogie got pulled down, and Wisconsin's going to get another penalty. A power play, beg your pardon. Clarkson with another penalty, and Doogie draws that one. Badgers go on a man advantage, and boy, I tell you, Frank Marat, the goaltender, he tends to play the puck a little bit too aggressively for his head coach, but uh, I tell you, he's... He's been pretty athletic here, and somehow Mersh, while well, he was so deep below the goal line, it's awfully tough to finish in that spot. Doogie's hard work caused the penalty. Yeah. Clarkson not crazy about the call. Second power play of the night for the Badgers, who came in the game ranked third nationally. Now 7 of 19 after failing in their first power play chance tonight. 13.52, the time of that penalty for tripping on Harold's Eagle. Clarkson's got a heck of a penalty kill, though. Two for 20 so far. Killed off 18 of 20 power play chances against. Very effective on special teams. One of the better special teams units in NCAA hockey a year ago. Ty Pelton buys left wing Caulfield. You notice immediately they have someone out on Caulfield on the left wing, being Grant Cooper. Almost man to man on him. Pass by Bice, intercepted by Zach Sekos. And he'll stick handle and sauce across. Cooper couldn't catch it as Miller hustled back. And now it bounces around, and Lebedev will pad a little around the boards to Pelton Vice. So a minute to 10 to go on the power play. Here's Wyatt Kalnuck now. Back to back 25 point seasons for the Badgers junior defenseman. Weisbach hands off Miller. Poked it to the corner. Kuzmeski got there first and has room to backhand it all the way down. Yeah, Clarkson a year ago made it to the NCAA tournament 26 wins finished third in the regular season in the ECAC then won the conference tournament lost to Notre Dame in overtime in the opening round of the NCAA tournament three to two but their special teams were solid a season ago 
And their power play's been good so far. You get to see Clarkson on the man advantage. Penalty kill looks pretty good. Long range shot off the body of Miller. And it deflects wide of the mark. Miller now tries to work the puck free with his big body. Instead, Underwood dangerously threw it towards the front of the net. Josh Dunn was there. It went off his skate. Badgers still after the puck in the offensive zone. Tarek Baker's got it. Power play clock winding down. Miller sets his shot. Goes off the stick of Dunn and out of play. Well, you mentioned how big McCarthy is. Josh Dunn, number 21, is 6'4", 210, the former Green Bay gambler. Here's Clarkson almost scoring on itself. A dangerous pass to Josh Dunn. He was fortunate to kick that puck wide. Half the NHL teams represented here tonight, and Dunn, a free agent, kept getting a lot of attention from the pro guys. Again, he's a big power. Well, he's playing center to that, but a forward. Yeah. Scored 16 goals in 36 games for the Golden Knights. Played four years with the Gamblers in Green Bay. 74 points in 140 games played. If the Dunn name is familiar, his older sister, Jesse, played at Ohio State. Another sister, Jincy, is the Buckeyes' captain. Jincy, Jesse Dunn, and Josh Dunn playing for Clarkson. Here's Holloway, finds open ice. Backside, Doogie, backhand. Oh, great save made by Marotti. Stuck out his right pillow and denied Doogie in tight. Wow, excellent play by the Badgers to get a quality chance, and Marat up to the task. Certainly the most spectacular the save of the night for the transfer goaltender, who's making his presence known in Potsdam with his early season play. He came in with a 198 goals against and a 942 save percentage. He's faced 30 or more shots in all four games he's played so far this season, and he's played well. And now Wisconsin has it iced the puck. Nothing called. We play on. Brock Caulfield with Owen Lindmark and Roman Ashan. Badgers have the puck on the near side. It's Skinamoto. He shoots one, and Lindmark skipped out of the way of it. And it caroms off the glass and out to center. And then Wisconsin defenseman Mike Berlicki snapped his twig in half. Stick handling with it for a moment was Nick Campoli out of Toronto. He stumbles to the ice. Gaussman did actually, and Inamoto took the puck away. Borlicki headmans off the back of the stick of Owen Lindmark. Taps back to Inamoto. Got caught up in his skates. And a 50-50 puck. One here by Lindmark. Nope. Lost it. Here's Dunn again. Josh Dunn. Looks to the right half boards. Will cycle down low. Is Meski behind the net. It's Eagle. Centering pass, and it's blocked by Wisconsin's rider Donovan. Boy, Dunn came right down the middle, and Eagle found him. Here's Harold's Eagle backpedaling, wanted to shoot. Both Donovan and Lindmark in the way, but Dunn's got it now. Gausslin, he'll shoot one. Stick save made to Lebedev. Kicked by Inamoto to the stick of Ashan, who pitchforks it through center ice, and the Badgers will finally get a change. That's Clarkson's best line. First time they've had sustained pressure. Brusso's been around forever in Potsdam. Dunn, we've talked about, and Eagles got the, made the play on the, on the goal. Badgers, Emerson turned it over. Centering pass intercepted by Wisconsin, then off his stick and out to center ice it comes. Our two minutes to go in the first period. Wisconsin has the advantage shots on goal, but Clarkson with the lone goal as Jack Jacome buried a backhander on a feed from Harrods, Harold's Eagle at 10:32. Miller stick handling with the puck. Game free. Caulfield had it. Miller working for it. Caulfield's got it. Slot. What's he going to do? He's going to shoot one and whistle it wide. Weisbach was calling for it goal line right, but Caulfield pulled the trigger. Miller now with it, slides to Pelton Bice, bounces it low. Nice play in front. Marat again stones Weisbach this time. That is the prototypical hot goaltender. Holy smokes. Great feed by Great Caulfield Marat. to set up Weisbach for another point playing right drive and a big save. Big time is Weisbach right there, but it's still 1 0 Clarkson. It's a different kind of work week out here. You need power, performance, and versatility. You need a subcompact tractor built to get any job done right. The Kubota BX Series, the best-selling subcompact tractor in America. Now get a BX1880 for payments as low as $99 a month for 84 months or up to $2,000 instant cash rebate. Offers include a six-year limited powertrain warranty. The Honda CRV is perfect for people from all walks of life. From the daydreamers to the night riders, and the carpoolers to the lone wolves. Let's not forget the young ones and those young at heart. 
No wonder the CRV is the best selling CUV over the past decade. Now is a great time to shop the number one CRV clearance event. Hurry in today for a great deal. Clarkson leads Wisconsin 1 0. Frank Marat has been marvelous so far in this first period, though. The kid at 6'1", 194, and he's had some spectacular saves. That's what he's done in his career. Most of those numbers came during his first years at Robert Morris. He's a graduate transfer. That's why he's come in and played without sitting out any time. And we've certainly got to know him tonight. Beautiful save on the point blank drive by Weisbach after the great feed by Caulfield on the prior shift. And Stone Sean Doogie before as well. Doogie's out there now with Holloway and Baker, the forward line with Miller and Emerson defensively. Larkson wins the faceoff. Here's Anthony Callen up the near side wall. Got bumped off the puck by Baker to longtime friends. Callen, 12 years in the Madison Capitals organization. Played the last four years with the Madcaps junior team. Actually, the last two. 99 games played, 19 goals, 39 points. As a freshman at Clarkson last year, he had four goals and 10 points. He's got all sorts of friends and family here. Does Anthony Callen, including his parents Cheryl and Greg, icing waved off. Holloway after the puck takes a pretty good hit from Morrow and then kind of hog ties him down. Puck loose on the near side. Doogie can't dig it away from Sekos, and he's got it now. Pitched it ahead to Callen. Callen shot blocked by Wisconsin's Kalnuk. Callen got it back and swept it around Jacome. Lone goal scorer tonight, number 16, Jack Jacome for Clarkson. Then he turns it over, and Wisconsin's Tyler Inamoto has got it. Got to be a kick for Callen. Second time he's played in this ice, though. He played as a mighty might here <laughs> once upon a time between periods. And Wisconsin's got a chance. Emerson backside and pass deflected. A swing and a miss by Lindmark and Marat. We'll cover it up with 1.7 seconds yet left. Anthony Callen's older brother, Drew, played at Bentley. Now he's in the East Coast Hockey League with the Wooster Railers. Nice look that time. Emerson backside, but Underwood, the defenseman, got his stick in the way. Another former Green Bay gambler, Michael Underwood. It's completing the Callen family tree. Yeah. His sister, Lauren, was a diver. Saw her win a state championship at Middleton at the Natatorium back in 2010. She went on to swim at her dive at Missouri. Mm -hmm. And his great uncle is Chuck Grillo, longtime hockey guy. His name's on the Stanley Cup of the Pittsburgh Penguins. He used to be the general manager of the San Jose Sharks. That's his great uncle. Yeah. Gringo's one of the good guys. He founded that hockey school in Nisswa that a lot of people in Minnesota and Wisconsin go to in the summer. I think Coach Granato knows Chuck Grillo very well. He's one of the characters of the game. Yeah. Referees are taking a look at video replay here. And I'm not certain what the reasoning is behind it. Again, Brett Shiva and Ken Anderson are the officials. And they're Mike this year, so we'll know. Well, they're just adding additional time to the clock. And that's a real addition. And here, here for Steve Piotrowski and the Big Ten from Mike and the officials and letting fans and TV audiences know what's going on when they go into the penalty box for a video review. Like that. Like it a lot. Yeah. They're waiting to add the time. Now they have three minutes and nine seconds on the clock. I don't think that's how much he plotted out there. Wait a minute. That's not right. Yeah, and I believe that's been acknowledged. Yeah. He'll figure it out at some point. 3.9, okay. All righty. Now we're ready to go. Give the Badgers a chance if they can win this face off to get another shot at Marat in this period. Yeah, can they win it? Bounces around. Caulfield tried to feed back to Lindmark, and then he threw one right through the low slot as the horn sounds. Interesting. Lindmark took that draw there. That tells you what Tony Granado thinks who's the best face off guy. Lindmark, yeah. Uh, they like him a lot. Very good two-way player. Tarek Baker, Sean Doogie, Ty Emerson heading off the ice here. The Badgers in the opening period unofficially with 11 shots on goal to Clarkson's one, but the lone goal scored by Jack Jacome on a feed from Harold's Eagle at 10:32 for Jacome. It was his first goal this season after scoring six a year ago and eight as a freshman badgers had two cracks at the power play and they've been very good this season at nearly 40 percent but failed on both tries 
And we're going to go downstairs rinkside, and Piper Shaw is standing by with Sean Doogie. Piper? Sean Clarkson plays a slower game than you guys do. How do you take control of the pace? I think we just keep trying to push the pace, keep, you know, driving as hard as we can, and really trying to get pucks behind them. Uh, two power play chances tonight. What was making it so difficult to score? Um, I just think it just wasn't click, and we had some really good looks. Um, you know, we had the opportunities, which is good to see, but we got to put one in the net. All right, Sean, thank you so much. Good luck. Yep, thanks. Guys? All right, Piper. Well, it's tough to score when the goaltender's all over the place, and Frank Marat was very good. He gave one away uh, about midway through the period when Doogie fired one from the right wall, and Marat had to scramble back to make the stop, and he also stoned uh, Linus Weisbach late in the period as well. It's 1-0. Wisconsin trails Clarkson after one. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover all the things that make them unique. Her and your mother. They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. Subscribe to BTN Plus for live streaming of more than 1,400 non-televised Big Ten events, Next Day On Demand game archives, and BTN's library of classic games and original programs. Go to btnplus.com or download the app today. Hustle on into Menards and save 11% on all tools and fasteners. Or you could get 11% off a brilliant chandelier. Why not get 11% off a new vanity to update your bathroom? Finish up those fall building projects and save 11%. Make an entrance with 11% off all doors. No matter the project, you'll get 11% off right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Dear road rivals, gotta say, I'm impressed by how hard you've been trying to kick quality up a notch. Maybe one day you too will be named best-selling small SUV in America. A for effort, yours, RAV4. Right now, get 1.9% APR for 60 months on a new 2019 Toyota RAV4. Find yours at buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. If you're talking, they will hear you. We all want our kids to grow up safe and healthy. So we show them how. And we tell them with honest conversations that let them know what we expect. Not just one time, but every chance we get. That's especially important when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. Kids not only need to know the dangers and how to avoid them, they need to hear it often from you. And when it comes to pain medications, opioids, they need to know that they should never be taken without a prescription and never shared with friends or family. It's dangerous and illegal. So talk with your kids and guide them through the challenges of growing up safe and healthy. Because when you talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with your kids about underage use of alcohol and other drugs, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. So talk, they hear you. You can do it if you try. Welcome into the Kohl Center. The Golden Knights lead the Badgers one to nothing here in our first intermission. I have had the opportunity to spend some time with our Badger hockey team off of the ice to get to know them. And here is a piece that I did with a couple of our freshmen to get to know them a little bit better as we head into the season. Take a look. Welcome in. I'm Piper Shaw sitting alongside a couple of our Badger hockey freshmen here. We've got Cole Caulfield and Owen Lindmark here. We're just trying to get kind of hoping to get to know you guys a little bit and connect with some of our Badger hockey fans that might be watching from home. So I've got a couple questions for you. Uh, first, where are you guys from? Um, I'm from Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Um, so two hours north of here. Um, I'm a hometown kid, so um, it's nice to be close to home now. Uh, I'm from Naperville, Illinois. Um, I was actually born in Oklahoma. My dad was in the Air Force, so I've moved all over the place. But for the past uh, about four or five years, my family's been in Naperville, Illinois. Okay. And if you guys weren't playing hockey, what would your dream job be? 
Um, me, personally, I'd probably want to play another sport. I think you know, that's kind of the most exciting thing. Um, I don't know what sport, probably baseball, but um, yeah, I can't imagine doing anything but you know, playing a sport. Uh, I'd actually also be playing baseball. I played until my uh, junior year of high school, so um, I had to give that up for hockey, but if I had to do something else, I'd definitely go back to that. Do you guys have any uh, pre-game rituals at all or superstitions, anything like that? Uh, yeah, we have a, we have a few. Um, one is we play football before the, before the game, and then we have a little soccer like head game where we uh, just head the ball to each other. Yeah, we got, um, yeah, and then before we go on the ice, we yell some things um, back and forth to each other, kind of just, you know, came, became a routine as of last year, and, you know, we're going to keep it going throughout this year, too. Um, do you have any hidden talents at all? Um, <laughs> Sounds like I, you, Cole. <laughs> uh, I, would, I would say juggling. Um, only three, though. Four is a little much. Um, <laughs> Noted. Noted. Um, yeah, I don't have any hidden talents, but he is also a really good lip singer. Uh, he's gone viral, viral for that, so uh, he's good at that, too. Interesting. Lip singing. Any particular song? Uh, you found me by the phrase. Just, just look it up. It's, <laughs> it's everywhere on the internet. Okay. I guess I'll have to do a quick Google search beyond your hockey career. Um, what do you guys love about playing hockey? Um, to me personally, it's kind of a competitive factor. Like, you either win or you lose. And I think, um, you know, even in practice, um, it's, it's much more than the games. I think everything that goes into it's, a, you know, kind of a battle. And um, you know, kind of the outcome decides on you know those little battles throughout, throughout the game. That if you win, you know most of those, you're probably going to end up winning the game. So I think it's just a competitive factor and a competitive nature that you know it's kind of just in our blood now, and it's kind of just comes natural to us. That um, you know, I think that's kind of the most exciting part of the game for me personally. I think just how fast and physical the game is. Um, you know, it's truly uh, very different from any other sport. Uh, you know, just how fast it is. You know how physical and just how fast you have to think to make plays. I think that's the, you know, the most appealing aspect of the game. So, what do you hate about playing hockey, if anything? <laughs> uh, absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, uh, going against this guy in practice. <laughs> <laughs> Tough matchup there, I guess. What have you guys learned since joining the Badgers? Um, you know, I think it's just consistency. I mean, it's a long season; it's a little different. Um, you're playing on the weekends, just Friday, Saturdays, and you know, now you're playing for your school too. There's a lot more that goes into that, and um, you know you're playing for your teammates. You kind of become close with them. I mean, you're not at all the same age now. You're playing with guys that are you know three, four years older than you too. So, I mean, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's exciting, and you know being a, being able to play for you know your university is, is really cool too. I think uh, you know it's someone that something that you all dream of as a kid, and and now just being able to live in the moment and have you know such great coaches and great teammates, um, it should be a lot of fun this year. Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, the biggest difference is, like, this is really my first full year playing with, um, you know, guys that are older than me um, by more than one year. I think that, um, you know, when we first stepped on campus, all those guys, uh, you know, they instantly brought us under their, you know, their wings, and they were awesome to us, and, you know, we were here for eight weeks in the summer, and ever since then, I think the teams really came together um, and formed a really close relationship. And then, you know, who wouldn't want to play at this arena? Um, you know, it's, it's awesome. Great atmosphere. Um, the campus is great. And then the coaching staff is unbelievable. We will get to hear the second half of that interview with Owen Landmark and Cole Caulfield during our second intermission. Stay with us. We've got second period action coming up after the break. Hey, Tom. Sheila. Hey, uh, don't take losing the Anderson business personally. I resigned it, Tom. I guess they didn't tell you about their opossum problem. I thought it was pronounced opossum. Since 9-11, thousands of children have lost a loved one who served our country in the U.S. military. For years, Camp Hometown Heroes has provided healing, hope, and friendship to hundreds of these Gold Star children from around the country free of charge. This Wisconsin-based summer camp has changed the lives of these families. Won't you help make a difference for children who have lost their own personal hero? For more information, visit CampHometownHeroes.org. At Girls on the Run, we believe that girls have the power to change the world. Volunteer coaches teach valuable life skills to third through eighth grade girls, and together they run, walk, hop, or skip in a celebratory end of season 5K. Volunteer or donate today and join us as we inspire girls to be joyful, healthy, and confident. 
No limits, no constraints, only opportunities to be remarkable. I can do this. We believe in you. Each day brings hope. Every day, millions of people celebrate their recovery from addiction and mental illness while others begin their journey. Be a part of it. Tell your story. Join the Voices for Recovery. Together, we are stronger. For 24-hour free and confidential information and treatment referral for mental or substance use disorders for you or someone you know, call 1-800-662-HELP. Left side in zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. It's pop loser. It's picked off by Wisconsin all alone. Jason Taylor. He's gone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Ferguson catches at the 40, 35 yard line. Makes a man miss. A big, big win for the Wisconsin Badgers. Watch the Badger Sports Report. With me, Paul Chris, right here on Fox Sports Wisconsin. It's time to get your scare on as the Deer District gets transformed into the Fear District. For four days a week, roam through haunted houses, scream at scary movies in the beer garden, feast on foolish food and beverages, plus interactive games, and more. Entry into the Fear District is free, but tickets to the haunted houses are only available for purchase at FearDistrictMKE.com or the Pfizer Forum Ticket Office. Visit the Fear District September 26th through November 3rd, Thursday through Sunday. Like I said, this is a dipstick. <laughs> dipstick. Jack Jacome scored on a beautiful feed from Harold's Eagle about halfway through the first period. Clarkson leads Wisconsin one to nothing, although Bill, the Badgers dominated that first period really in puck possession. Shots on goal 11. They had a lot of great eight chances. Yeah, they won the statistical battle. They had 24 attempted shots in the first period. Clarkson only took nine shots. They got a great play to score the goal, but Marat was the better goaltender. Definitely so. Badgers also 0 for 2 on the power play as you see. Wisconsin's down a one nothing. Second period's coming up in just a bit. Trisha's having a sleepover tonight. Can I go? I wonder about Lucy's friends. What should I say? I know you're only 10, but one of these days a friend will offer you a drink. And alcohol at your age can lead to so many things. None of them good. So can I go to the sleepover? Lucy, I want you to promise me something. I finished my homework. <laughs> Bigger promise. If there's any drinking, I want you to say, no thanks, not my thing. Mom. I promise you, your real friends won't care. Deal? Sure. Really? I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. A public service message from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. Saturday, Bucks basketball returns to Fox Sports Wisconsin. Oh my God! As Giannis looks to power Milwaukee in a matinee with the Heat. Saturday, beginning at three with Bucks Live on Fox Sports Wisconsin. Hey, bud. Oh. Where, uh, where are you headed? Uh, just gonna hang out. It's a school night. With Gary and Todd? Yeah. Not sure about those two. I've been meaning to ask you. This is tougher than I thought. Is there any drinking going on in this crowd? No. I hope not, because alcohol can lead you to say things and do things that you really wish you hadn't. Isn't this what you're supposed to say? I know. So if any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I'd do anything to keep you safe. Okay, I will. I hope this is working. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. Brian. Yeah? So start the conversation even before they're teenagers. Good idea. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. A message from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. 
Wisconsin Badger Hockey on Fox Sports Wisconsin is brought to you by Travel Wisconsin. Visit TravelWisconsin.com and let the fun begin. And by Kubota, engineering a more rewarding ownership experience. Visit your local Wisconsin Kubota dealer and test drive the difference. Visit Kubota.com for a dealer near you. Like Wisconsin at home in its Cardinal uniforms, white trim. No, you want to thank the tailor in Potsdam who messed up the uniform order at <laughs> Clarkson, so they didn't have roads or unis to wear. Yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes. Badgers banking around in a moto, chopped out by Caulfield. Pelton Vice can't get there. Josh Dunn does for Clarkson, and then Schneider heaves it into the crowd. And uh, they'll drop the puck out near center ice. Looks like everybody's okay in the stands. Badgers trailed only once last weekend against Minnesota Duluth. That was in the first period. Wisconsin actually scored less than a minute in. Cole Caulfield lit the lamp, and then there was a series of penalties before Duluth scored two power play goals, and the Badgers pulled even. Scored five unanswered to win that game. But they're down 1-0 here to start this second period. Kalnuk Inamoto with Pelton Vice, Caulfield, and Weisbach to start the second 20 minutes. Caulfield off his stick, pressured by Schneider. Inamoto follows up. Pelton Vice can't win it free. Dunn taps it ahead. Here's Anthony Romano. Holds off Inamoto. Shovels down deep to Dunn. Halnick on him immediately. Gets some help from Weisbach. Romano's got it. Centering pass off the stick of Jacome. Slides free. Hustling after it. Caulfield. Can he beat the defenseman to the puck? And Kuzmeski did a nice job angling his body to keep it away from Caulfield, who was late in his shift. And in fact, Cole's been out there for a minute 10, as has Weisbach. Holloway's replaced Pelton Vice on this forward line. Kalnick, who's accustomed to skating 90 seconds to two minutes at times. Takes a tumble. Jacob's got it low right stick handling. Looking and Lebedev came out on top of his crease and made the save. Good stop for Lebedev, who hasn't faced many club he looks. He had two big right pad saves in the first period. Then Jacob beat him with a backhander to the top of the net. Here Lebedev keeps it a one nothing Wisconsin deficit. Here at Piper talk to John Doogie about the pace. It's the pace of the game that the Clarkson likes. They want to play this as tight as they can on the road. That's what they did in Ann Arbor. Got a tie and a win against Michigan. They'd love to keep this low scoring. Badgers like to go, go, go and try to win a track meet. Clarkson through four games, giving up two goals per game while averaging 2.25. We've only scored 10 goals all year. And right. And allowed only eight. Right. While well, Wisconsin scored 23 times. Up behind the Badger net, whacked at by Callen. Emerson comes out of there with it. Baker tries to help it along. Underwood pinches in and keeps it alive along the far side boards. Two Clarkson fans in attendance here today. And the three Knights or Golden Knights. Here's a chance in tight. Levin up. Oh, nice right pad save on a fallaway shot by Callen, too. Levin has been good down low here tonight. Holloway leaves off Miller. Miller across the line. Looks cross ice, finds his man Baker to the slot behind Doogie, pops free off his skate and out to center. Doogie had four shots on goal with the 11 the Badgers had in the first period. Holloway had three. And Doogie had two goals last season in the 4 2 loss at Clarkson. Had a goal and three points last weekend against UMD, a goal and five points in Doogie's last three games. Josh S retrieves the puck. Brock Caulfield's now got it. He leads the rush across the line, off his stick, back on his stick, and then whacked to the near wall. But Ashan's got it to the back. For Licky, S, and that goes off a body or two. Caulfield follows it up. The defenseman Greg Morrow there first. Big right-hander helps it along to the far boards, and Gausland now pulls it away from traffic. Now Ashan taps it ahead. Brock Caulfield that tumbles down. Sean can't reach. Lindmark digging for it. Caulfield tried to find a Sean near the front of the net. And Roman tracks it down and then turns and spins it back in. Lindmark able to knock Morrow down using his backside. Ryder Donovan at number 27, 6'3, 203. Able to knife it free. Now out to Jack Mornier. Johnson with three wins in four games so far this season. This weekend series against Clarkson, Gorniak offside, then Big Ten play starts next Thursday and Friday night at Penn State. The Nittany Lions 
the overwhelming choice to win the Big Ten this season, according to league coaches, but got shut out at home by Fairbanks last Friday. First time the Nittany Lions have been shut out at home in two years, and they were tied 1-1 with Robert Morris in their single game this weekend. That's just starting the third period at Pagula Ice Arena. I think there's, there might be a few goals scored in Happy Valley next Thursday and Friday. I would think so. Hope these teams can get up and go and have some goal scores. And neither team likes each other either. Penn State ended Wisconsin season a year ago. The best of three first round series. It went three and the Nittany Lions won the finale in overtime. Inamoto applies some pressure. Done out to the point. It's near side and Kuzmeski's shot easily gloved by Lebedev and he just hangs on. Lebedev with the only three saves of the period. Clarkson looks like a much more aggressive four checking team here in the first four minutes and seven seconds of the second period. Emerson and Miller back on the ice for the Badgers. Lebedev saw that cleanly and made the snag. Daniel Lebedev spent last uh, this past summer in his native Finland working with his personal goalie coach and a number of pro goaltenders including Nicholas Backstrom formerly of the Minnesota Wild. Here's a setup and a shot in tight by Sekos went off his stick and over the cage. Lebedev looked a lot more confident last weekend and he is here at a time when Clarkson's pressing to go up by two goals. He looks solid less movement trying to stay more under control. And a shot goes off a stick and then another and Lebedev somehow able to get his right knee back and made the stop on that slow moving shot. Pass in front off of Wisconsin's Emerson. A backhand try now by Anthony Romano goes wide. Much like the Badgers did to Clarkson in the opening period. The Golden Knights have turned the tables here in the second. Dominating play in the Wisconsin zone to our left. Fans getting a little frustrated here. Pelton Bice flips it around to the near side wall. Weisbach with it. Tried to jam it free. Got enough of it to Keandre Miller. Banks it ahead to Cole Caulfield. Tries to walk Morrow. Does a nice job. But the puck slides all the way below the goal line. Roughed up there by Grant Cooper. And Clarkson takes the puck away. Up to Secos now. With it is Chris Clack, number eight. Dylan Holloway takes it back for the Badgers. Hooked up there by Cooper, who missed the check and... Ran himself into the wall, and the Badgers have to reverse. DeAndre Miller now settles things down. Now Mike Verlicki has got it for Wisconsin. Verlicki had a nice senior season at Edina High School a year ago, winning a state championship, putting up over 25 points. Doogie avoids a big hit from Gausland, but Clarkson takes the puck away. Gausland stick handling pestered by Doogie who won the puck back to the D-man and S up ahead chipped by Baker past their D-man Morrow uses his hips looking for the pass out to the point for Licky sets shot blocked Tisdale got in the way Doogie shoulder to shoulder with Morrow gets support now from Holloway who pulled it away the shot over skates. Tisdale's got it for Licky. Nice read to break up that play, but now Tisdale regains possession. And he'll dump it down in for the Golden Knights. Lead feed S. Caught by Ashan. What's he going to do with it? He'll take the ice. Ashan off the toe of his stick, knocked down, back up on his skates, and flings one through the crease. Wyatt Kalnick out there now for the Badgers. Little stick handling move. Can he get around Eagle? No. Poke free by Clarkson's Nick Campoli. They've got a two on one. Campoli and a slash penalty coming up on Browso. They'll say interference on Browso for whacking the stick of Wisconsin's Tyler Mil Moto into the air. It was a two on one, and Browso just. You know, wait for the pass. Instead, he goes up and pulls the stick basically out of Inamoto's hands. Badgers will get their third power play when we come back. Introducing the Hometown Collection by Fanatics. Prep your team in city with this collection of locally inspired graphics designed for the fan. Available at Fanatics.com. Shop now and get today's special offer. Fanatics.com. Officially licensed everything. Basketball is entertainment. The restaurant business is entertainment. Obviously, my name attracts the people, but the key to Clyde's Wine and Dine is the food. The food is 
is not good and your friends, uh, your fans, and nobody else is coming back. Brought to you by Tomes. Fights heartburn fast. Badgers down one nothing, but get their third power play because of this penalty, which was uh, not necessary. Strange play. Kalnick had pinched. Clarkson had a two on one, and to say a slashing penalty. Clarkson had dominated the period, outshot the Badgers 5-0, and now they give Bucky their third power play of the night. Kalnick tees one up right into the chest of the butterfly goaltender Frank Marat, who faces. His first action here in this second period. Another faceoff to come to Marat's right. Oh, I like the penalty box attendant digging the tunes. Yeah, Happy Hoover's into it. No kidding. Wow. I like it. A little smile if you got a chance. Yeah, her dad never does. No, I know, right? Here's Caulfield looking for somewhere to shoot. Again, they'll stay on him. Cole Caulfield, six goals this season, scored two in each of his first three games. Didn't light the lamp last Saturday, and people were asking, what's wrong? <laughs> He'll score plenty. Weisbach with it. Oh, the penalty killer fell down. Here's Caulfield with it. Couldn't shoot. Weisbach's got it back. James Kalman back to Weisbach. Caulfield looking for open space. He's got it low left. Turnaround shot. Oh, off the face of Frank Morat, the goaltender. Back to Kalman now. Plenty of time on the power play. Badgers looking for the equalizer. Kalman, oh, a little slow moving shot went off the skate, just trickled past Morat, and Clarkson cleared it off the protected netting as they try to clear it around and out. So the faceoff will remain in the Golden Knight zone with 108 to go on the power play. That penalty, but Clarkson's penalty kill has been its strength this year, and, and keeping the, the third best power play in the country off the board. Doogie has had a lot of shots in the early going. Yep, second unit out now. It's Doogie and Baker, Holloway, S and Emerson. There's S now, Holloway, back to Josh S. S. I Emerson now. Baker with it, set up in front for Doogie, right on the toe of his stick. He couldn't pull the trigger initially, and now it's out to S. His shot blocked by Underwood. Nice job by Marat to stay big down low. Doogie's got it again and whistles one wide off the high glass and all the way around and out. Still 40 seconds left on the Badgers power play. Wisconsin came in 7 of 18 this season, 39%. But 0 for 2 so far. And uh, 0 for 2 and 3 quarters right now. Here's Emerson. Tried to bank it back to the point. Dunn got in his way. Now Underwood takes a hit from Holloway, who freed the biscuit. But a good read by the defenseman, Kuzmeski, who could not clear. S kept it alive. Dunn runs into him. And the Badgers forced to retreat to center. And that's where... Sean Doogie's got it now for Wisconsin. Upset he didn't score in the first period. And turns it over here about midway through the second. That'll do it. Wisconsin's power play now 0 for 3, though. Well, you got to take advantage of, of gifts like that. Clarkson takes a bad penalty on the road, and Badgers can't make him pay for the miscue. Clarkson onside. Jacome has a step, and then cut off by Brock Caulfield out to the point. Long range shot hits someone in front. I think his teammate Cooper. That was off the stick of Greg Morrow. Swings it near side to the defenseman Jordan Schneider. Caught it up. Foot race down. Mora will beat Brock Caulfield in the puck. Badgers will get a change. Secos now. Hat trick against Vermont last Friday in a 3 2 win for Clarkson. Now it's Brock Caulfield. It's Inamoto. Inamoto, goal is a freshman, a goal is a sophomore. He's scored one goal so far as a junior. And. It's Eagle. They turn it over. Turnaround shot. Lindmark stopped by Marat and swatted out of harm's way by the Clarkson netminer. That was a gift there by the Golden Knights, and Lindmark couldn't finish. Morrow takes a pretty good bump into him. Dominic Merz tries to protect. Knock Jacome down with penalty. Here's Seckles now looking for the defenseman. His shot blocked by the Badgers. Halfway through this hockey game here in Madison, it's 1-0 Clarkson. Dominic Mersch, stick handling. And now lost it to Eagle, or Eagle that is, E-G-L-E, and then turned it over. Look out, partial break by Brasso. He deeks, goes backhand, and he goes top shelf and scores. Mersch turned it over. 
Devin Browso, his first goal of the season. It's 2-0 Clarkson. Clarkson took advantage of a turnover of the score in the first period. Bruso, student athlete of the year, the ECAC, been around. He's the captain of this team. He takes advantage of the Mersh turnover. Goes in all alone, makes a nice move on Lebedev, and scores again upstairs. The Golden Knights on the road with a 2-0 lead halfway through the hockey game. Unassisted, 10-14, the time of the goal for Rousseau, his first of the year. Jacome scored in the first period, his first of the year. Casey Jones, their head coach, saying he's liked how they play, but their big guns haven't finished. Well, Jacome and Rousseau now have. Eagles still looking for his first marker of the year, but Clarkson with a 2-0 lead on the road. Keep in mind, this team has been a good road team in recent history. In fact, last year, the Golden Knights were 12-8-1 away from home. This year, they're 1-0-1 with that win and tie at Yost Arena in Ann Arbor against Michigan. And that is not an easy place to open the season. No. Bouncing puck, and Meski's got it, taps off Dunn, throws it across now to Eagle. And he'll bank it off the boards, off the stick of Miller first, and Wisconsin's Eskos to get it. Lead feed deflected, but Weisbach gobbles it up, drops it off Caulfield now. Caulfield, can he get around Goslin? No, he falls down on the stick of Goslin, and here's Campoli. Slides it to Tisdale, gobbled up there, though, by Goslin, and he'll pull the trigger, and his shot blocked by Miller. Address. 16 shots on goal, five here in the second period. Clarkson with six shots on goal, and he's converted one so far, 2-0. Golden Knights. Gosselin now with it. From the Merritt Centennials of the British Columbia Hockey League. Now Wisconsin's Tarek Baker. Baker applies the four check, but Morrow got there first. Up ahead, Campoli now. Nick Campoli from Toronto. Ran into Kalnick. Sean Doogie picks up the loose puck. Angles a pass for a shot. Able to catch. Can't get by the defenseman. Takes a tumble and Kuzmeski picks up the loose change. And then coughed up by Cooper, who tripped up Kalnick, and that's a penalty, yes. Cooper took a swing at Kalnick after turning it over and knocked him down, and the Badgers will get their fourth power play, but Clarkson has a 2-0 lead. It was one zip after one, then a turnover at center, and Devin Browso, backhand forehand, backhand roof, 2-0. Golden Knights. Life out here tastes sweeter with the freedom to roam at 40 miles per hour. The power to haul whatever needs hauling. And best-in-class acceleration and handling with cargo. The Kubota Sidekick is purpose-built for speed, fun, and to get the job done right. Right now, get the Sidekick for zero down, 3.99% financing for 60 months, plus a $1,000 instant cash rebate. Good night. Good night, babe. Not all souvenirs are handy, but the BMO Harris Bucks Debit MasterCard is. When a bank puts the team in your hands, that's the BMO effect. One, two, three, four! Not all souvenirs are handy, but the BMO Harris Bucks Debit MasterCard is. When a bank puts the team in your hands, that's the BMO effect. Well, Grant Cooper had the puck and then gave it away to Kalnick and then wanted it back. Is that a trip? That's what the ref called. It is tonight. The ECAC guys might think that's a little home cooking. But anyway, because Badgers are fourth power play. Five on five. Clarkson's been the better team. Badgers have had four power play chances. They need a goal right here. Yep, down 2 0. Wisconsin forced a turnover. Weisbach got it to Miller in his soft moving backhand. Shot was wide of the mark. Clarkson tries to clear, and actually Morrow fired it off his teammate Dunn, and it ricocheted past Weisbach and down. So Kalnick with the puck. Weisbach, Caulfield, Helton, Bice, and Miller. Caulfield at center. Pressured a bit by Dunn, then Morrow tried to walk Morrow, lost the puck. Bounces off the body of Helton, Bice behind the net. Moved along on the near side by Kuzmeski, and far enough, that will allow Clack to get to it for Clarkson. Kalnick caught up to him, and a penalty coming up on Wisconsin's Wyatt Kalnick for a holding. The Badgers captain will get the gates at 12.46, and he is barking at the referee, terribly unhappy with that call. And Matt Gerlach trying to keep the two separated. Some might say this would be a makeup call. Kalnick would. I don't know how he held him there. Wow. 
Count up for holding. But the preceding call is a little soft, and so apparently tonight we're going to go hit for ten. <laughs> don't like how that works. You know, if you make a mistake on one, don't compound it by calling another one. It shouldn't be a penalty, right? He had Briggs down here, so I, so I got to get on the official. Then I rarely do that. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. You might as well, right? And Drinka makes up for me. <laughs> By the way, Rob and is not here today because he's more important than us. It's his 51st birthday tomorrow. Instead of sharing it with the Fox Sports Wisconsin crew, he's probably at some remote destination just enjoying the sun and frivolity of other friends that he cares more about. So I hear. <laughs> <laughs> But happy birthday, Rob. Yeah, happy birthday to Rob Andringa. Yep. He'll be back with us at some point. I honestly did think you were Rob for a second. Yeah, yeah I, I even did. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I ripped the official. <laughs> <laughs> Going to say anything about Grand Forks anytime soon? No, no. Oh, look out. Oh, lap it up with a huge save on Secos after the Badgers coughed it up behind their net. Oh, that's a big stop by Daniel Lebedev to keep it a 2 nothing deficit. Badgers struggling a bit. This is a good forechecking Clarkson team, and they've caused uh, the Badgers some fit so far, especially here in this second period. Holloway now trying to do it on his own. Knocked off his stick by Morrow. Tied up, knocked down. Yugi over skates. Sean gets it back to the point in Miller. He reached for it, but didn't get it. Look out, Campoli, two on two. Eagles with him. Campoli fights off Miller. Lebedev out of position. He tried to wrap it around. Daniel back to the far post. Open man near side. That was the defenseman, Connor McCarthy. Couldn't catch the pass. Eagle slides it across. Now Hurley with it. Far side, Brousseau. He scored the goal here in the second period to make it 2 nothing. Now Eagle, power play for Clarkson. It's first of the game. Badgers trailing 2 0. Harold's Eagle walks into the slot, works his way free, and then it crawled off the stick. Browso down. Now McCarthy, his shot goes off of Lebedev's stick, I believe. Emerson took a swing at a two. Out to Hurley. Backpedaling and looking. Pass deflected by Holloway, but not out. Look out, Browso in front. Big stop by Lebedev with the right pad and then hangs on. Oh, nice look. Browso in tight to Josh Dunn and Lebedev. Fantastic with that right pad. Well, he's been good when he has to be. Clarkson's got the seventh best power play in the country. Four of 13 as they go on the man advantage for 43 seconds. Good pad saved there by the man in the doorstep. And Lebedev keeps the Badgers within two. Wow. Last week, Clarkson went three for five in the win over Vermont and the loss to Providence. They saw it to Lebedev's right. Five seconds left on the power play. Kuzmeski muffed the puck. Badgers pull it free. Kalnuk waiting to get out of the box, and he does now. Badgers back at full strength, but Clarkson with a puck. Jack Jacome swings it down to the corner. With it there is Anthony Romano. Romano, a sixth round draft pick of the Arizona Coyotes this year. 26 goals for the Clark Cup winning Sioux Falls squad in the USHL a year ago and they get a shot off on Lebedev and he made the stop and hangs on. So the Badgers 0 for 4 on the power play and then kill off Clarkson's first chance. Still the Golden Knights lead Wisconsin 2-0 here late second period. When I was a kid I wanted to be just like Cal Ripken. It's definitely humbling to know that now people are calling me a hero. We were doing a push into Taliban territory. Instead of finding the IED with my metal detector, the IED found me first, and that resulted in double above knee amputations. There are people now that are looking up to you for their inspiration and to be their role model. Doing, nice sir? to meet you. Good. To meet Good. You. How are you doing? Meeting Cal for the first time was surreal. I mean, it's hard to describe the feeling of meeting somebody that you've always wanted to be like. You're realizing that there are people now that are looking up to you for their inspiration and to be their role model. And so it certainly is sobering. It comes with a weight of responsibility. It's so important that we continue to help veterans into the foreseeable future. For more information, visit saluteheroes.org. Welcome back. It is 2-0 in favor of the Clark 
Chiefs and Golden Knights, one thing that this Badger team is extremely proud of is their tradition of family. And this team is full of family ties. There's three pairs of brothers on this team. There's the Doogie brothers, the Caulfield brothers from Stevens Point, Wisconsin, of course, and the Donovan brothers. The Donovan say that they have fully embraced their roles as the team's comedic relief in troubled times. People seem to always be turning to them. And Sean Doogie told me that the first time he was ever on a rink, he was three years old, right next to his brother Jason, and that he knows that he is so lucky to still get to share the ice with him. And of course, the Caulfields. Brock told me yesterday that Cole truly is his best friend and that he cherishes every game he gets to play here in the Cole Center with his brother. Guys. That's pretty cool. Here's a long range shot by Jacome and an easy save by Lebedev, who hangs on for a face off. Yeah, for Cole Caulfield, his parents, Paul and Kelly, now only have to go to one rink every weekend to watch their kids play. I'm sure the Dookie parents and the, <laughs> the Donovan parents feel the same way after chasing <laughs> kids around for their formative years. Yeah. It's off to Lebedev's right. Callan against Holloway. And Callan goes to get the puck off to Cooper. Open man far side and shaking the shot was Kuzmeski. He'll get it back down. Pressured by Baker. Steps to his right. Covers it down deep. Has tried to help it along. Warlicki had it for a moment. S now finds an open man. Baker. Little soft pass dangerously to the high slot. Badgers can't clear. Again, Clack applying four checking pressure. Now Borlicki banks it ahead and Doogie settles it down with his body. Played it along nicely. Here's Baker looking. Sauce pass. Oh, Holloway couldn't catch it out of midair. Able to chase it down though and cycles it back to Baker. It's Meski knocks him down with a four check knocks him down again. No penalty call Badgers have had four power play chances to Clarkson's one so If anything you'll think the marbles will be shifting here at some point So Bill Howard is thinking the same thing somewhere probably in sunny, Florida but Clarkson's been awfully good in the four check this period they've, uh, they've come hard at the Badgers who haven't handled it well with they put pressure on the puck and force mistakes Sean Shoulder to shoulder with Dunn. Dunn tumbles down, but the puck is free to Michael Underwood. And lost the puck. Lindmark fires a pass for Caulfield. He'll chase it down. He'll shoot one. Got through traffic, and Marat snags it right in his belly and hangs on. And a faceoff to come with under three minutes to go in the second. Two to nothing. Clarkson leads Wisconsin. Marat was good in the first period. He hasn't had as many tough saves here in the second session. And that one he had a good view of and covered up with 2.56 to go. In the second period, Brown hasn't had much of a chance to get no. into it. Not at all. Who provides the comedic relief to Donovan? I think they can use some uh, right? complete period. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that up to Piper Shaw. Yeah. Here's Harold's Eagle with it now. Former member of the Madison Capitals, played with the Chicago Steel. Can't settle that pass down from Dunn. I like that threesome though of Browso and Dunn and. Oh, here's a chance at tight done stop by Lebedev and Eagle. They're good. Here's Dominic Merce now. Down the middle goes Donovan. Oh, he slides a pass. Got it off to Gorniak, who got hooked as he went to the net. And a penalty coming up on Clarkson. And Wisconsin will get another power play. Gorniak not only hooked up, but because of that, he had no chance of stopping before bowling into their goaltender, Frank Marat. Both appear to be okay. Badgers are going to get a power play. Dorniak uses his speed to get behind the big defenseman, Moro, and caused the penalty. Nice speed. Badgers with their fifth power play opportunity, the third of this period. Looking the call on Moro at 17.32, and that time the fourth line on the chart make something happen. Now comes Miller, 19, Caulfield, 8, 17, Pelton Bice, 9, Weisbach, and 2, Kalnick. Look out the blue line and Kalnick. Humble the puck and now has to pass it to the near side. Weisbach also mishandles a bit, slowly moves it to Caulfield. Old Caulfield, six goals in his first three games, held without one last Saturday in the 3-1 win over Duluth. Kalnick now down low off the stick of Pelton Bice and it slowly spins to the goaltender Murad who just covers it up for a faceoff with exactly two minutes left in the second period. Two nothing Golden Knights. And certainly in the pre-scout everybody literally in the country has heard of Cole Caulfield in the college hockey world. 
he didn't have a shot at goal in the first period. And they've done a pretty good job of stifling the high scoring winger who had 72 goals last year for the U.S. development team on Ann Arbor. Broke the records of guys like Kane and Matthews and Kessel. He can score, but they've shut him down pretty well tonight. Yep. And a long range shot missed the net glove side on Marat. Work by Helton Vice using his strength to keep Dunn away from the puck. Weisbach out to the point in Kalnick. Miller was open, couldn't get him the biscuit. Now Weisbach again, cross ice for Caulfield. Good stick by Clack to the stick of the defenseman, Schneider, and he'll fire it all the way down. Minute to go on the power play. Badgers down a pair. Kalnick up through center ice, pestered by Cooper, flips it far side. Nice catch there by Wisconsin's Emerson. Emerson takes it low, back to Kalnick. Kalnick looking for his first goal of the year. A stutter step move now to Weisbach. Doogie wants it in the slot, can't get it to him. Caulfield now for the Badgers. Caulfield pressured out high. On a perimeter passing, now Caulfield steps in at the dot and rifles one off the left shoulder of the goal. Tenor Murat, it's down loose. Doogie digging after it. Weisbach there too, it's loose. Kalnick picks it up and shots it, shoots it wide. Now Weisbach blocked, he got it back. Here's Doogie. Oh, Murat stopped that one. Where's the puck? It's Doogie again trying, still digging it. Where's it at? Now the whistle blows and a stoppage in play. All five Clarkson players somehow kept that puck out of the net after repeated chances by the Wisconsin Badgers. Boy, how many times we say they pack it in really well? Well, they just packed it in the crease right there to stop a flurry by the Badgers. One save, two, Doogie drops it loose. Still puck keeps alive. Still thing stays out of the net. There's a chance for a Weisbach to Doogie. See how many they officially credit shots on goal in this wow. flurry, but my goodness, Murat and his defensive friends keep the Badgers off the board. 17, Zach Sekos stopped one with his butt. Weisbach thought he had one short side, and Sekos just turned and able to move his hips and stop that one. He should get credit for a save. Great pressure on the power play, but nothing to show for it. 23 seconds, 21 seconds left in this man advantage. And Clarkson wins the faceoff and sends it down. Badgers did a nice job in the faceoff circle in the opening period, winning 11 of 15. But and Clarkson's had the upper hand during this second period in most aspects. Just this late flurry by the Badgers on the power play as they're trying to get on the board for the first time tonight. Holloway. Tried to chip it past the defenseman McCarthy. No luck there. And all the way around and out. And out of the box comes Morrow. One on three. Morrow poke check by Miller. Puck three to Doogie. Slides it ahead. Kind of bounced it ahead to Holloway. And then Baker mishandled. 12 seconds to go in the period. Here's Doogie now for Wisconsin. Sean Doogie can't walk the defenseman McCarthy. Or Schneider got in the way, I should say. Slides ahead. Browso. Four seconds left. Took a peek at the clock. Now to Dunn. His pass off the stick of Emerson. Bouncing puck back to the slot. And that'll do it for the period. The Badgers shut out in back-to-back -back periods. 11 shots on goal in back-to-back -back periods for the Badgers trail. The Golden Knights of Clarkson 2-0 after two periods of play. The lone goal in that second period, scored by Devin Browso, unassisted at 10-14 after a neutral zone turnover. So Jacome scored in the first halfway through. Browso halfway through in the second, and it's 2-0. Clarkson leading Wisconsin. Shots on goal 22 to 18 in favor of the Badgers. But again, the most important stat is the score. 2 0. Visser is on top. We're out with 11 saves in each period. And the penalty killer is certainly one of the keys of the game, along with the goaltender. Badgers now 0 for 5 with the man advantage. And Murat has been very frustrating if you're a Badger fan. Especially in that last flurry at the end of the second period with the Badgers on a power play. And unable to find the back of the net after Marat made an initial stop. And then the four penalty killers just collapsed. And everybody was in the paints at that time. We go downstairs. Piper Shaw is standing by with Badgers junior winger Linus Weisbach. Yes, Linus, can you just tell me what was going through your mind in that dog pile down here at the net? Yeah, I mean, we were trying to find a, a hole there to get the puck in. But uh, they did a good job. They, they collapsed there. And uh, it was unfortunate. Now you are tied for leading your team in points. How do you stay aggressive on the four check in a game like this, but also out of the box? Uh, I mean, we, we got to stay on the four check every game. I think it's a tough game tonight, and uh, we just got to find a way to get some goals here. All right. Thank you, Linus. Good luck. Guys, 
All right, Frank Murat, 22 saves in the first two periods for Clarkson. Daniel Lebedev's been pretty good tonight, too, as well. He's made 16 stops, but this goal by Devin Brasso, a breakaway after a turnover as Clarkson on top, two zip going into the second intermission. Now at Menards, save big money on your next project with 11% off everything. Update your home with the beauty and durability of wall and floor tile from Mohawk. Mohawk features a large selection of ceramic, porcelain, and glass tile in the latest styles to add a distinctive touch to your home. And best of all, get 11% off on our entire selection of Mohawk tile. Finish all of your projects with 11% off everything right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Dear road rivals, gotta say, I'm impressed by how hard you've been trying to kick quality up a notch. Maybe one day you too will be named best-selling small SUV in America. A for effort, yours, RAV4. Right now, get 1.9% APR for 60 months on a new 2019 Toyota RAV4. Find yours at buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. say to kids when everyday things are out of their reach. At Boys and Girls Clubs, we say welcome. A club for every kid. Since 9-11, thousands of children have lost a loved one who served our country in the U.S. military. For years, Camp Hometown Heroes has provided healing, hope, and friendship to hundreds of these Gold Star children from around the country, free of charge. This Wisconsin-based summer camp has changed the lives of these families. Won't you help make a difference for children who have lost their own personal hero? For more information, visit CampHometownHeroes.org. At Girls on the Run, we believe that girls have the power to change the world. Volunteer coaches teach valuable life skills to third through eighth grade girls, and together they run, walk, hop, or skip in a celebratory end-of-season 5K. Volunteer or donate today and join us as we inspire girls to be joyful, healthy, and confident. No limits, no constraints, only opportunities to be remarkable. This is what high blood pressure looks like. Talk with your doctor to create a treatment plan that works for you. Go to loweryourhbp.org. Welcome back into the Kohl Center. Clarkson leads the Badgers here two to nothing heading into our third period. And I've been having fun this season off of the ice, hanging out with some of the guys, getting to highlight their stories here for our broadcast. Here is the second half of my interview with Cole Caulfield and Owen Lindmark. Now, you guys shared with me that you are roommates. What is living with each other like? <laughs> uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. We have a lot of different routines that, uh, you know, we kind of just, uh, you know, they're kind of funny, but at the same time, we have a lot of fun doing them. So I think that, um, you know, we get along really well together, um, and we definitely have a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, I'd say it's, it's nice living with someone you know pretty well. Um, we played together the past two years, so... Um, you know, we kind of became really close, and you know, it's not, it's not too bad uh, living with this kid. He's a lot of fun, and and uh, yeah, he's a good guy too. Who's a better roommate? Um, me. <laughs> me. So. Oh. Yeah. Why do you say that? I think that uh, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of competition between the two of us, whether it's like video games or whatnot. So I think that uh, you know, we're both pulling for for each other. <laughs> I'm his biggest fans. Who do you look up to on the team? Um, you know, I think there's a lot of guys that you can look up to. I think everyone, honestly. I mean, you know, we're all kind of close with each other, and, and that's something that probably most teams don't have. I think, you know, being able to spend eight weeks here in the summer, um, you know, help this bond as a team and, and grow, you know, together as a, as a whole unit. And, um, yeah, I think us freshmen are super close, too. I think we all look up to each other. And, and obviously the upperclassmen and, and the leaders on this team are, are the people that you look up to the most. And, 
and look to when you know things maybe not aren't going your way or something like that throughout the game. But I think everybody. I mean, I got a brother on the team personally, so I mean, I could ask him and pick his brain about things. And but but again, I think everybody's you know a leader and, and good guys on this team. So yeah, I'd say that. I think just the way that the you know the older classmen just show us the ropes. Um, you know, the first couple weeks of the school, they were always you know helping us out, making sure we got to class on time, making sure we knew where the classes were. Um, so I think you know, uh, you know, same with Cole. I look up to pretty much everyone. I think that's kind of, um, you know, that's the same thing with any other kid on the team. I think we all look up to each other, and especially in practice, we're always pushing each other every day um, to get better. Who's the goofiest guy on the team? <laughs> uh, there's a lot of the freshmen. Uh, I'd so say, you? You no, no, I'd say, the, I'd say the top two are definitely Shea Donovan and Mike Merlicki, um, and then Ryder Donovan as well. I think those three, um, you know, they're the jokesters. Uh, you know, they, they always have good jokes no matter where they are or whatever's happening. So, um, you know, being freshmen with them, they definitely make us laugh a lot. I mean, I'd probably say that if you want a good laugh, go hang out with those three. I mean... There's not, you know, we hang out a lot together at the dorms, and you know, we're usually always laughing and having a good time. Just, just being around the, them all day, you kind of, you know, learn to love them. And we've became so close, you know, throughout these the summer and the eight weeks, and now just beginning of school year. So, I mean, we're all looking forward to, you know, starting the games too. I think that'll, you know, bring even more excitement to us every day, and um, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Um, what should Badger hockey fans know or watch for from you guys as players? Um. Tough one? <laughs> uh, for him, he's going to score. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, just like the 200-foot game, um, you know, whether it's like on the penalty kill, uh, five on five, just doing whatever it takes to help the team win. Uh, that's kind of, you know, how I play my game. And, um, you know, that's how I go forth every day in practice and in the game, just doing whatever it takes to help the team win. Um, yeah, full 200-foot player for you. You're unbelievable at that. <laughs> he's got a vote of confidence um, in you, I see. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, for me personally, I think, um, you know, kind of just an exciting forward, you know, likes to have the puck on his stick, kind of create offense and, uh, you know, hopefully put the puck in the net as much as I can. And I think uh, the way our team plays this year will be exciting to watch and, you know, kind of bring a high pace to the game, you know, a lot of offense. Um, you know, hopefully we can, you know, keep the puck out of our net too. I think that's the biggest part, you know, playing the full two, 200 feet like this guy does. But, um, yeah, I mean, I love to shoot the puck and, you uh, you know, hopefully it'll go in a lot this year. All right, well, that's going to be it for us here. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Really excited to see where you take the team. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. kids to grow up safe and healthy so we show them how and we tell them with honest conversations that let them know what we expect not just one time but every chance we get that's especially important when it comes to alcohol and other drugs kids not only need to know the dangers and how to avoid them they need to hear it often from you and when it comes to pain medications opioids they need to know that they should never be taken without a prescription and never shared with friends or family. It's dangerous and illegal. So talk with your kids and guide them through the challenges of growing up safe and healthy. Because when you talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with your kids about underage use of alcohol and other drugs, visit underagedrinking.samhsa.gov. Some things in your medicine cabinet are more dangerous than others. When it comes to prescription drugs, opioid pain medicines can be addictive and even deadly. Keeping unused opioid medicines in your home is risky. Half the people who misuse prescription pain medicines get them from a friend or family member. Over 100 Americans die every day from an opioid overdose, and millions are addicted to opioids. 
but you can be part of the solution to the opioid crisis. Go through your medicine cabinets, drawers, anywhere you keep unused opioid pills, patches, or syrups, and find out how to dispose of them safely. Visit fda.gov slash drug disposal for details and remove the risk of opioids in your home. Clarkson has a 2-0 lead on Wisconsin like we saw in the first period when the Badgers controlled play and shots on goal. Clarkson actually did the same in the second until that late burst by the Badgers on a power play, but give the uh, Golden Knights credit. They played pretty well here tonight. Yeah, again, 5-5. Five and five. They've been the better hockey club. Uh, after that initial burst, Wisconsin came out of the gate, got a lot of shots early. Marcotte came up big, but uh, since then, Badgers haven't been able to score in the power play, and Clarkson's up to zip. Yeah, you see 0 for 5 on the power play, 9 shots on goal in 8 minutes and 49 seconds of power play hockey. Third period's coming up in just a bit on Fox Sports Wisconsin. Saturday, Bucks basketball returns to Fox Sports Wisconsin. Oh, my God. As Giannis looks to power Milwaukee in a matinee with the Heat. Saturday, beginning at 3 with Bucks Live on Fox Sports Wisconsin. It's time to get your scare on as the Deer District gets transformed into the Fear District. For four days a week, roam through haunted houses, scream at scary movies in the beer garden, feast on foolish food and beverages, plus interactive games, and more. Entry to the Fear District is free, but tickets to the haunted houses are only available for purchase at FearDistrictMKB.com or the Pfizer Forum ticket office. Visit the Fear District September 26th through November 3rd, Thursday through Sunday. Hey there, I'm Travis Frank. Coming up this week on Doing North Outdoors, we're sharing spooky stories from the great outdoors. We begin with unexplainable lights found in a Michigan grouse woods. Then we take a fall fishing trip to a Minnesota town with a ghostly reputation. Those stories, plus we give an ode to an oak. This week on Doing North Outdoors. Stadium brings you free 24-7 sports. It's including live college football and primetime high school football games. Oh! In-depth MLB playoffs and World Series coverage. Rookie launches one to left. It's gone. And a full court press of NBA breaking news and insider information with Sean Strania. This is the richest contract in pro sports. On Stadium, your 24-7 home for sports. This is Stir, as in, as in a free app that gets you free live TV. Listening, it's 30 channels and growing. Good. Classic shows, uh-huh. Sci-fi, sports. Yes and yes. Hundreds of movies. And it's free. Watch it anytime, anywhere. How much would you pay for that? For free. We could be like this for days, man. Can I get Stir on my Roku? Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, your phone, your tablet. So, Stir. Stir. Download the Stir app for free TV today. Saturdays are game days in the Big 12. Touchdown! Storied schools and bitter rivals. Big 12 football all season long. Wisconsin trying to match its longest winning streak from a year ago when it won four straight down the stretch and forced Penn State into a decisive game three in the first round of the Big Ten playoffs. Badgers have won three in a row but trailed Clarkson 2 0 as we start the period number three. Badgers 0 for 5 on the power play. Clarkson's had one crack for about a minute and 10 seconds or so. And while Daniel Lebedev, the Big Ten's number one star of the week, has played well for Wisconsin, there's Frank Marat, who's been a brick wall for the Clarkson Golden Knights and got some help from his teammates at the end of the second period, too. Yeah, Marat with 11 saves in each of the first two periods. And Andrew Nelson, that clever guy in the truck who's making us look good tonight, Brian, put it out, we should call him Marat. Oh, Francis Marat who started his collegiate career at Robert Morris, the all-time winning and uh, goaltender in that program's history. He had a 9.17 goals against average and a 2.55 goals against, 9.17 save percentage, I should say. Trying to pitch a shutout here. His first as a member of the 
Clarkson hockey program. Badgers have Weisbach with Caulfield and Pelton Weiss. Nice lead pass. Caulfield steps in and shoots one of the blocker save made by Marat. Then he pitched it off the back wall, trying to sneak one off the back of the goaltender and in. But that hit the side of the net, and Clarkson just iced the puck. Third shot and goal of the night for Caulfield. Had six goals in his first three games. He's the 15th overall pick in last summer's NHL draft by Montreal. He's without his centerman tonight. If you join us late, Alex Turcotte out of the lineup. He's been sick all week with the respiratory virus thing, and they expect that Alex could be back tomorrow, but Vice is Caulfield and White's back centerman tonight. That could be a factor in the 0 for 5 of the power play as well. Could be so. Although the Badgers have had some chances, nine shots on goal in their eight plus minutes of power play hockey. Quick change of forward lines for Tony Granado's club as Sean Doogie's out with Tarek Baker and Dylan Holloway. Holloway walks around. No, he doesn't get around Jacob. Nice play. Here's Romano now, far side. Quick shot by Secos, and he missed the net. Off the corner board and reaching forward. Baker able to nudge it out to center and then loft it back deep into the Wisconsin. No, over the glass and out of play. So a faceoff to come at center ice. Minute two into the third period. The Badgers trail by a pair. Big crowds here last weekend. Brian touched upon on the top of the show. Not as big tonight, but in the crowd tonight. The Wisconsin High School Hockey Coaches, their association meets tomorrow. And Casey Jones, the Clarkson coach, will speak along with the Badger coaching staff. Andy Brody, trainer, talk about player safety. John Goldsworthy won a state title in Minnesota in town to speak as well. So a lot of familiar faces. There's a chance Wisconsin Klimbar cuts in. Can't get a forehander or backhander off. Good reach that time by Shane Kuzmeski to break up that play. Now centering pass. Ooh, off the back of the stick of Wisconsin's Brock Caulfield. Anderson speaks it in. Caught by Ashan. Pressure. Maintains possession. Turnaround shot. And that was flung wide. Anderson now. Whacked at by Romano. Puck pops free to McCarthy. He reverses course to Kuzmeski. Now Clarkson will get a change after sending it the length of the ice. Lead feed to Sean. Catches. Right there, Underwood tried to scoop it out with his right hand. No luck. Lindmark got in the way, but then he retrieves the puck and sends it to center. That's nearly turned it over to Chris Clack. Doogie there to knock it off his stick. Tries to keep Callan away from the biscuit. Badgers for Licky now. Twirls away from pressure. Up over the head of Ashan. And that will be icing on Wisconsin. 2-10 into the third period. 2-0 Clarkson leading on the road. Doogie right there you saw with seven of the 22 shots on goal over the first two periods. He's been frustrated more than anybody by Marat. A look at Casey Jones, longtime assistant to John Marco at Ohio State. As she said earlier, he played a Cornell coach with Mike Schaefer, one of the game's best coaches and he's had great success in his nine years in Potsdam. Yeah, we've had some pretty good coaches at Clarkson too. Guy by the name of Jerry York, guy by the name of Glenn Siglarski. Hall of Famers. York will be inducted to the Hockey Hall of Fame in Toronto next month. 1,068 career wins I believe it is now for Jerry York. Here's Anthony Callan now for Clarkson. He lost control as he ran into S, and Sean Doogie's got it for the Badgers. Doogie scored the empty netter last Saturday that sealed the Badgers' sweep of Minnesota to Luke. He threw one down towards the net, hit the side of the cage. Wisconsin's Holloway trying to fend off two Clarkson defenders. Get some help from Caulfield, who gave it away, but now Inamoto backhands it back deep, and Weisbach takes a peek over his left shoulder. What's he going to do? Twirls and fires it through the slot. No one home for the Badgers. Cooper. Clack, fourth line left winger, forced to push it deep. Clarkson will change, 3.15 into the third. Oh, halfway through the first from Jack Jacome, another halfway through the second from Devin Brousso. Here comes Weisbach with speed, forced wide. Good play by the defenseman McCarthy. Weisbach still with it, shovels it to the corner, slowed a bit by something, and now right up the middle, it's McCarthy. Off to his right in Gausslin. Ahead now to Tisdale. Knocked free by Inamoto. Backhand pass. Got to Caulfield. Tries to walk around McCarthy and does. Took a hit. Relieves the pass now to Kalnick. Back behind the net. Centering pass. No one there. Miller will chase it down far side. Caulfield wants it. He catches. Looks for Kalnick now. Now to Keandre Miller. Two goals this season for Miller. One on the power play. He had five as a freshman a year ago. Wraparound try. Weisbach stopped by Murad. It's loose in front. Pulled free by Nick Campoli, who sends it back the other way, and that gives 
Clarkson some time to play the puck. The pressure by the Badgers. But Marat's been good. Messner now looking. Gorniak pass broken up by Josh Dunn. Nice play. And now he pitched it along to McCarthy. Lead feed to Goslin. Too far for him. Actually, it was Brousseau, number 14. Goslin, where's number 13? Number 21, Emerson, who started his Badger career wearing number 10, but that's now up in the rafters. The number of the Magic Man, Mark Johnson. Johnson women's hockey team off to an 8 0 start, ranked number one in the country. And we'll open a two game series with Bemidji State tomorrow at Le bon Arena. Tomorrow and Sunday, both games start at 2 o'clock. And then off to Minneapolis for a 1 2 showdown against Minnesota next weekend. Mark Johnson squad. Miller's shot blocked. Harold's Eagle has it. Releases the pass to the far side. Here comes Brian Hurley. And now a pass in front. Here's Dunn. And Eagle scores. Clarkson outnumbered the Badgers in transition. A whirling pass by Dunn to Harold's Eagle. And with his billet family in town, he used to play for the Chicago Steel and Madison Capitals. Harold Eagle puts Clarkson on top, 3-0 in the third. Clarkson gets his best line out there against Wisconsin's fourth line. Pretty play, tic-tac-toe. Eagle gets his second of the game. Each of his line mates should get assists. And Clarkson on the road, up 3-0 now with only 14-45 left in regulation. So Jacome scores his first of the season. Brousseau gets his first of the season. And now Harold's Eagle gets his first of the season at 5-15. It's 3-0 Clarkson. And again, Dunn and Hurley get the helpers on Eagle's goal. He had 19 as a junior last year when he was named second team all ECAC. Harold's Eagle has Clarkson on top 3-0 here in Madison. It's a different kind of work week out here. You need power, performance, and versatility. You need a subcompact tractor built to get any job done right. The Kubota BX Series, the best-selling subcompact tractor in America. Now get a BX1880 for payments as low as $99 a month for 84 months or up to $2,000 instant cash rebate. Offers include a six-year limited powertrain warranty. Before you go home, can I get your eyes on this? It's really not that important. I'm just trying to be proactive. Hey, you know, Mondays. Made for the modern boss. The tech advance Nissan Murano. This is Nissan Intelligent Mobility. Now, get 0% financing for 36 months or get a low 234 per month lease on the 2019 Murano. Wisconsin came into tonight's game leading the country and scoring 5.8 goals per game. Granted, we've only played four games so far, but 5.8 goals per game, pretty impressive. But nothing tonight on 24 shots. One goal each period for the Golden Knights, who lead threes hit. Icing waved off. Lindmark gets to the hash marks first. And a battle on the near side with Jordan Schneider. And now Clarkson sends it the length, and that's icing waved off. That's able to get to the puck first, though, and reverses close to Borlicki. Going to get out of talk last. Now icing will be called on Wisconsin here. Last week about how his team, the young team, and we should point out it's the second youngest team in the country, but they learned a lesson going from the running gun game on Friday night when they beat Duluth, the two-time defending champ 6-2, came back, had to win a defensive game. Same thing here. Got to come back and play a team that doesn't have the, the hype and... and Clarkson isn't as sexy as Duluth. Let's face it, Duluth, the two-time defending champs. People are shooting for that on the schedule all summer. Now you got to learn how to play against teams that are less heralded, and Clarkson's come in with a defensive style. Their big defensemen have, well, pushed the Badgers to the outside, and they shut them down on the power play. Ooh, here's a chance by Callen in tight, and it just skipped through the blue paint. Now Kuzmeski shoots one, blocked by Wisconsin. Here's a Sean. At the red line, Badgers need a change. What we haven't seen from Wisconsin tonight is its speed, which yep. in turn leads to some odd man rushes. And the Badgers have had none. Clarkson has made it difficult for 
the Badgers to break out to connect more than one or two passes at a time. It's one on three like Sean Doogie here who gets knocked down and sweeps a shot towards the netminder and a penalty coming up here on Clarkson. Badgers are going to get a power play. Doogie went hard to the net. He's played well tonight, just has nothing to show for it. Extra attacker for Wisconsin. 13-10 left here in the third. It's 3-0 Clarkson. And the Badgers with six skaters to Clarkson's five right now. Kalnuck sauces across. Caulfield tries to catch, forced it back to the corner. Kalnuck tries to protect there, and now the whistle blows, stopping play. So face-off inside the Clarkson zone. Badgers will get their sixth power play of the night, seeking their first goal of the night. Well, we talked about pace earlier, and this is the pace Ohio State wants to play. Casey Jones not happy with the fact that his penalty killers are going to work for the sixth time. I don't know if he was crazy about that call, but it's a penalty, and Badgers need one in a big way, which is 12.55 to play. they got to get their power play unit on track. 7.05, the time of the penalty on McCarthy. And Clarkson wins the faceoff and swings it all the way around and out. Clarkson had won only 14 of 33 faceoffs through two periods. They win a big one in the defensive zone there on the penalty kill. Badgers 0 for 5 so far. And a bad pass out to the point. Wisconsin holds in Kalnick. Kalnick, Weisbach. Back to Kalnick. Pelton Bice in front of the net. Miller at the hash marks. Here's Caulfield now. They move him to the right wing. Here's Weisbach out to the point. Kalnick tees one up right into the gut of Frank Morat. Another faceoff to come inside the Clarkson zone. Well, Andrews have a lot of options on the power play. Kalnick preseason all Big Ten pick. Captain got five assists looking for his first goal. Had a good shot there. Well, Bice has a couple of G's this season. Battling for the faceoff win. The Badgers. Count a good hustle. Nice little sauce pass with a backhand to Caulfield. And he goes down low. Here's Bice. And he sets up Miller, and his shot was blocked off the stick of the defenseman Schneider. Back to Caulfield. Caulfield thought about shoot. What's he going to do? Throws one that goes off his stick. Ricochets to the end boards. Miller can't reach, but the Badgers still have it. Cole Caulfield. Weisbach. Caulfield gets it back. Weisbach. Kalnick. Weisbach, oh, slow-moving drop pass. Badgers hold, though. Nice play by Caulfield, but then he coughed it up. Scooped ahead now. Potential two-on-one shorthanded. Seckos has it. Harder than that goes Cooper. Little sauce pass. Good recovery by Miller. Hustles back to break up that play. But then Seckos will send it all the way back, and Clarkson will rag it with 30 seconds left on the Badgers' power play. Good play by Miller after the Badgers got too cute while trying to set up the power play, and we're well into the sixth power play of the night. Here comes Josh Hess, pressured by Dunn. Josh Dunn, a good-looking player. 14 goals, 23 points as a freshman. Here's Holloway now as the power play clock winding down with 10 seconds left. Emerson is on the left wing, but it's Doogie out to the point, and the puck bounces on S past him and down. That'll do it for the Badgers. Power play now 0 for 6. There's Doogie across the line, weaving, drop pass, Emerson, left wing, Baker shoots one, big pad save made by Marat, not sure if he knew that he had made it, because he kind of looked over his left shoulder. Baker almost beat him, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, and Marat that time with a left pad save. Pass to Baker in the slot, broken up, quickly off the bench, Eagle, potential two-on-one with Callen, Eagle to the slot, works his way free, and Lebedev sliding on his knees, makes a nice save at the top of the crease. Badgers still trail 3-0, nearing the midway point of the third. It's a good opportunity for Wisconsin, but again, Marat's been good all night. He stops Baker here, and his defense clears out the rebound. Ooh. Badgers have had chances against Marat. He's been both lucky and good. Yeah, <laughs> no question about it. 27 stops for the uh, transfer student. Rousseau, slot, Eagles shot got through. Lebedev made the save, and then he covered up quickly. And Daniel Lebedev, he's played well here tonight. The three goals he's given up, one was a beautiful two-on-one. Yep, after then a, a turnover. Right, after a turnover, then a breakaway after a turnover, and then just tic-tac-toe in the Badgers' defensive zone from the goal line to the right of him, and then no one picked up Eagle, who finished the play. 
Lebedev's made some big stops tonight. It could be a lot worse than it is. He's kept his team in there and given them a chance. They just haven't been able to solve Marat's riddle. Not at all. Badgers fire it off the corner boards and too strongly, and Wisconsin has to retreat. For Licky, Inamoto, Caulfield can't get it in. The linesman got in the way. And that allows Clarkson to pick up the puck. Jacome knocked down by Borlicki, but it came free. And Campoli now to Jacome. Long range shot a bullet by McCarthy, missed the cage. Morrow couldn't hold it. Zone. And so the Badgers will change with under 10 minutes to go here in the third. But again, remember this Clarkson team went into Ann Arbor in one opening weekend. No kidding. 3 1 after a 1 1 tie. So this is no slouch club. And it certainly puts a feather in the hat to the ECAC to go 2 0 and 1 against the Big Ten when the pairwise rankings take on some significance after Christmas. And the Big Ten has actually had a strong start in non conference play this yep. season, the best record among the Division I collegiate conferences at 16 6 and 2 against non conference competition. But two of those six losses, or one of those losses, and a tie at the hands of this Clarkson club, as Bill mentioned at Yost Arena a couple of weeks ago. 3 1 and 1 1. Collision in the Wisconsin zone, and a penalty coming up here on the Badgers. Dylan Holloway in a moment. Empty net now for Clarkson. Extra attacker. Golden Knights trying to add to their 3 0 lead. Far side, it's done. To the point. Backside wide open. Backside left. And Dunn hammers it home on the pass by Brasso. It's 4-0 Clarkson. And the Golden Knights are going to get a power play on top of it. Well, another pretty pass play, though. Whew. Dunn, whose sister, Jensi, as you mentioned, probably the best women's college defenseman in the country, got a perfect feed from Brasso, the captain of this club. And it's 4-zip and Clarkson. Having some fun in Madison. Josh Dunn is third goal of the season. Rousseau with his second point of the night. It comes at 11 23. And again, Daniel Lebedev had no chance. That first line's pretty good. Oh, my goodness. Again, we talk a lot about how their defensive style and their style is beating down the Badgers' run and gun style. But boy, that first line's got some skill in the Latvian Eagle. Dunn, who's again the apple of the eye of a lot of scouts here tonight, and Bruso, who's played up well, we've played what 119 games now yeah. with Clarkson in four years. So Josh Dunn gets the goal. Is the Badgers have only two defenders from the hash marks down and three forwards out near the blue line, and Clarkson completely outnumbered the Badgers on that play. Wisconsin shorthanded, trailing four to nothing. Boarding penalty on Holloway at 11:23. Clarkson's Kuzmeski couldn't handle the pass. Kalnick's got it. Lindmark's got two shorthanders this year. Badgers would love one. Kalnick tries to walk the defenseman, centers one, but right to the stick of Josh Dunn. So Dunn off a 14 goal campaign as a freshman for Clarkson. Gets his third here tonight. Third of the season tonight. Badgers Caulfield tries to clear. Protecting the puck. McCarthy, he'll sweep it back deep. Pretty veteran club. Six seniors, eight juniors, eight sophomores. Only six freshmen for Casey Jones Club. Again, they lost their number one goaltender from a year ago, Jake Kiley, who had 64 career wins, a 923 save percentage, and 16 shutouts. He left a year early and signed with Vancouver, currently playing in Kalamazoo in the East Coast Hockey League with a former teammate of his, a senior defenseman last year, Aaron Throw. Here's Gorniak shorthanded, centers one, and nice work by Eagle protecting the front of his net, and he turns and makes a move. Pass to Secos. Off the stick to the corner now. The other young man they lost of significance, really. Well, three I mentioned, though, and Kylie, but was Nico Sturm, a first team All American centerman a year ago. Oh, he was. He was a good really player. Good. Yes, he was. Signed with the Minnesota Wild, playing in Iowa currently. Yep, in the uh, American Hockey League, had 103 points in 118 games. But. Uh, those are the three significant players they lost from a team that won 26 games last year and picked win, uh, finished third in the ECAC this season behind Cornell and Quinnipiac. And uh, I like what I've seen from this club. Yeah, they were ranked 13th in last week's poll, but this is a, this is a pretty well-balanced team who plays physically, 
Yeah. Uh, they're big and tough, and that first line's pretty good, but a, a real impressive goaltender. Yep. Here's a Sean weave to the slot, shoots one. Marat with a save. It bounced off the body of Holloway and back at Marat, who loves it and hangs on. So Clarkson 0 for 2 on its power play. The Badgers, though, 0 for 6, and they're down 4 0. Not much time left here in Madison. If you talk to me, we'll hear you. We all want our kids to grow up safe and healthy. So we show them how. And we tell them with honest conversations that let them know what we expect. Not just one time, but every chance we get. That's especially important when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. Kids not only need to know the dangers and how to avoid them, they need to hear it often from you. And when it comes to pain medications, opioids, they need to know that they should never be taken without a prescription and never shared with friends or family. It's dangerous and illegal. So talk with your kids and guide them through the challenges of growing up safe and healthy. Because when you talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with your kids about underage use of alcohol and other drugs, visit underagedrinking.samhsa.gov. So four to nothing here in our third period with just about six minutes left and Badger hockey fans who haven't been to the Kohl Center in a while we've got a reason for you to come catch a game live the concourse is now lined with the jerseys of Badger hockey players who've played in the NHL a few jerseys still have to go up but once they're up there will be 84 showcased and many of them were donated from the alum themselves there will also be some basketball jerseys uh, joining those hockey jerseys but guys Guys, it's pretty awesome that our Wisconsin alum do um, literally give us the shirt off their backs. <laughs> 84 Badgers have played in the National Hockey League. Tony Granada has done such a good job of bringing the alumni back into this program and he contacted a lot of those guys personally and asked for those jerseys and they were more than happy to cooperate. It certainly makes the lobbies more colorful here. I agree. Here's Dylan Holloway behind the net. Now to Emerson now he'll shoot one right through the low slot. Holloway now on the line with Weisbach and Caulfield in the absence of Alex Turcotte. So Tony Granato mixing it up a little bit. Anthony Callen lost the puck to the back checking Linus Weisbach. He throws it right towards the front of his net and just got through to Keandre Miller who coughed it up. Look out. Here's a chance in down low. Tisdale's pass got free and Lebedev trying to cover it up. Lost it again. And then thrown through the slot that time by Nick Campoli. So Gauslin and Tisdale were in deep, and Lebedev just couldn't pick up the puck. Now intercepted Miller. Snaps off a pass to Doogie, who can't catch it cleanly. Baker applies pressure, and it's whacked away from him and down to the Wisconsin end. Same teams tomorrow night, series finale. Face off just after 7 o'clock. No television tomorrow night. You can listen to it, though, on the Badger Sports Network and Madison on 1310 WIBA as well. And the iHeart Radio app. Kalnick, Ashan, his pass intended for Doogie, taken back by Clarkson. Devin Brousseau with it. Nice pass. Here's a snapper that hit the post off the stick of Matthew Gauslin. Boy, he was open to shoot. Now Brousseau tries a one timer, and he fanned at that. Baker slides it to Kalnick and done right there. 4 10 to go here in the third period of play. Yep, a little misleading the shots on goal. Badgers actually were peppering Frank Moran in the first period, but just couldn't solve the grad transfer from Robert Morris. And it was 1 0 after 1. Marat was the star in the opening period, and his teammates have picked it up with a goal in the second, two more in the third, 4 0 with four minutes left here at the Kohl Center. Good night. Good night, babe. Not all souvenirs are handy, but the BMO Harris Bucks Debit MasterCard is. When a bank puts the team in your hands, that's the BMO effect. One, two, three, four. Not all souvenirs are handy, but the BMO Harris Bucks Debit MasterCard is. When a bank puts the team in your hands, that's the BMO effect. Can I go to the sleepover? Lucy, I want you to promise me something. 
if there's any drinking, I want you to say, no thanks, not my thing. Mom. I promise you, your real friends won't care. Deal? I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. A public service message from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. Wisconsin opens Big Ten play on the road next Thursday and Friday night at Penn State. Then more non-conference action on the road at Omaha the following weekend. And then Notre Dame will have that Friday night, November 15th game against Notre Dame on Fox Sports Wisconsin. The Big Ten Network will have the Penn State series on. And again, that ought to be a fire station or fire wagon hockey from Happy Valley. And we'll do the games from Minneapolis. We won't, but... Our friends up in Minneapolis will do the games. Yes, they will. From the former Mariucci Arena. It's still the Mariucci Arena to me, although it's not really Mariucci mm -hmm. Arena. The old Mariucci Arena. It's one of the Mariucci Arenas. <laughs> now you've got me confused. I'm completely confused. And they play back here tomorrow night in the series finale against Clark right. the seven. Give me some 3M tape and I'll just tape my mouth shut. <laughs> Pass out to the point and Miller's shot waffled away by these upstanding Marats over the glass and out of play. The border battle will be staged at 3M Arena, Mariucci yes, Arena. I know. I yeah. just want oh, to make have sure to explain that to people. Everybody has to know that. Yeah. No, I call it Mariucci Arena. Okay. That'll be a good series. Two oh, young teams, two yeah. of the youngest teams in college hockey will go yeah. at it in November. Yeah. Minnesota that was trailing Minnesota to lose. Late third period. Bulldogs up 5 2 at Mariucci Arena. Michigan is won tonight, 4 0 over Western. Ohio State beat Mercyhurst. Penn State knocked off Robert Morris. Notre Dame a winner over Lake State. Here's Miller with a shot, missed it. Upside on Marat, and all the way out of the zone it comes. 2.50 to go in the third period of play. Well, the Badgers, uh, after an exciting weekend against Minnesota Duluth, big crowds on hand for October. Not often recently have you seen 10, 13,000 in the building. Nice move by Dylan Holloway, and Marat got his pads together with help from his stick and kept that puck out of the net, too. Holloway, a nifty move to get open, but Marat up to the task again. There was the Big Ten scores tonight. Duluth coming off two losses here, going into 3M Mariucci Arena with a three goal in the third. Penn State. They're not used to playing low scoring games, but they no. win a one goal decision. Michigan flanks Western Michigan. Ohio State beats Mercy Hurst out of the CHA. Yeah, Wyatt Eggy, the defenseman for the Buckeyes, with a hat trick in that 7 to 2 win. Shot that was stopped by Marat again. His numbers continue to increase. Now 33 oh, saves for Frank Marat. Holloway. He comes in backhand. Marat made a stop. A rebound and a penalty coming up. A slash on Clarkson. Holloway draws that penalty. We talk about the Badgers. You with Holloway's the second youngest player in college hockey. Mm -hmm. He just turned 18 last month. And he draws the penalty here on the slash. So the Badgers will try out their power play unit and try to avert a shutout. Rousling gets the penalty for slashing at 17.54. Seventh crack at the power play for the Badgers tonight. I don't know if uh, you can say Caulfield and Weisbach miss Kirk out on that line. Although he's so good. But I think you miss him on the power play. Oh, very much so. And again, now it's fifth player taking the NHL draft last summer. They hope to have him back tomorrow after missing the game. Problem, respiratory problem that's bothered him all weekend. Practice, Number of Badgers have had that issue. I've had that issue. Yeah, it's you're, been going around. You're playing hurt. Here we go. Here's Holloway backside intended for Doogie. Backhand shot by Miller and Marat made the stop. The Badgers moving around pretty good on this power play as Doogie's replaced Ty Pelton Bice. Shot by Miller as he carried it in. Turnaround shot by Doogie. Missed the net again. Wisconsin does not want to be blanked. Marat looking for his first shutout as a member of the Golden Knights trying to break down the penalty killers. You see that Sekos, without a stick, blocks a shot with his right hand. Nice job by Zach Sekos, but the Badgers hold the zone. And Kalnick thought about a one-timer. 
Trying to get Seckles to go down, and Caulfield shot redirected by Doogie, and a bounce to the goaltender, Marat, and he put it down and hung on for a faceoff. Wow. Again, only because any doubt who's the number one star in this game. Yeah. And that's the graduate transfer, Marat. He just made his 37th save right there with Doogie in his lap. Came in with a 942 save percentage in four games for Clarkson. That will go up significantly. And just like the Badgers opened some eyes nationally with their two wins over Duluth last weekend, when this score gets announced, I would think at 3 m Mariucci Arena and other places, it will give some love for Clarkson's program nationally. You're, you're just going to make sure that you pronounce that entire I want, name of that I want Minnesota some Arena. Posted notes. Oh, here's Ty Pelton buys to Emerson, <laughs> who sank that shot under a minute to go. I'll go buy you some. Oh, okay. Can you just stop? Barry Uchi read it is. Thanks. <laughs> Slow moving puck caught in the snow and along the kick plate. Mass kept it alive and shoveled it down deep. Holloway looking, wanted to go goal line. His pass broken up. Cooper dove for it, didn't need to as it slid out to center. Clarkson will improve to 3 1 and 1 and 2 0 oh, and 1 against Big Ten competition this season. The Badgers will fall to 3 and 2 in non conference play. And Holloway shot, didn't get much on it, snapped his stick in half. Marat kicked it out and then tried to find it, juggled it a bit below his pads and then covered it up. And Frank Marat, it looks like he's going to get his first shutout as a member of the Golden Knights, who again lost their number one goaltender, Jake Kiley. 64 career wins he left for the pros a year early. Marat goes through the NCAA process as a grad transfer to play one more year a la Kyle Hayton a couple of years ago who left St. Lawrence to come to Wisconsin that didn't work out for the Badgers but so far so good for Marat and the Golden Knights Orlicki Lindmark off his skate past Inamoto down the ice it goes and Clarkson comes to Madison and will it shut out Wisconsin yes it will Jacome, Brousseau, Eagle, and Dunn with goals tonight. And Frank Marat, a 38-save shutout for Casey Jones in the Golden Knights. Yeah, tip your hat to the guys in white. On the home team tonight, they were wearing red, and they, they got beat. Clarkson dictated the pace of the game. They got an early goal. Withstood the Badgers' early pressure. Marat was really good early. Clarkson came out in the second period. Looked like a different team, 5-on-5, five five, and they killed penalties. That was the key stat of the game. But Badgers had seven power play chance. They've got one of the best power plays in the country up till now. Tonight they were silenced, and so were the young Badgers. Yep, and Clarkson's penalty kill now this season. Only two power play goals allowed in 26 chances against Frank Barat. And the Golden Knights of Clarkson shut out Wisconsin 4-0 back in a moment. When I was a kid, I wanted to be just like Cal Ripken definitely humbling to know that now people are calling me a hero. We were doing a push into Taliban territory. Instead of finding the IED with my metal detector, the IED found me first and that resulted in double above knee amputations. There are people now that are looking up to you for their inspiration and to be their role model. Nice sir. to meet you. Good. To meet Good. You. How are you doing? Meeting Cal for the first time was surreal. I mean, it's hard to describe the feeling of meeting somebody that you've always wanted to be like. You're realizing that there are people now that are looking up to you for their inspiration and to be their role.